about everything. This place, you can he hear, you can't even hear your person next to you talking, it's so loud. And from that point on, the stadium is just rocking. There's not moments of any good game that the fans are not screaming their lungs out. The average fan goes out of here with no voice. The reasoning for it is the fans are into the Chicago Blackhawks. The Blackhawks are Chicago. If the national anthem can inspire such fanfare, imagine what a playoff hockey game will do. Well, the stadium is probably the best place to see a game. The fans are up close, the noise, the old building, the tradition in here. Just absolute perfect place to see a game. People cheer their lungs out to the final minute, you know, through thick and thin. The fans are always into the game, and they're not afraid to holler at a, to holler at a bad play and cheer for a good play. And, of course, they're our favorite players to razz all the time. The tremendous fan support puts extra glide in the stride of the hometown Hawks, but the visitors don't get much respect. As if the noise the fans make were not enough, the opponents also have to deal with the famous Barton organ, which has pipes built into the structure of the rafters. At full volume, it supposedly equals the sound of 25 brass bands, though who made that first calculation will never know. No matter how you look at the old place, though, one word leaps to mind, character. It's good to be in the stadium for a hockey game where there's no prompting necessary. The crowd enjoys it naturally. The way they did when the legends like Hull, Makita, and Esposito built the foundation that is the history of the Blackhawks and the Chicago Stadium. And the organ and the fans will be... One thing the Stars have to take into consideration is they're a little bit hurting on defense right now. Well, they are because of the fact that Francesc Musil is back in the Twin Cities. Suffered a bruised shoulder, they're calling it right now. But they brought up Rob Settler from their Kalamazoo farm team. Billy Shinner is in the lineup. We're not sure who the starting lineup is going to be as of yet. But Mark Tenorti also is just in the warm-up. We'll see if he plays. And he plays, that's a big plus for them. Yes, because if they lost both of those guys, both of them have played very well here in the playoffs, that could be a considerable loss. Well, it's not quite as noisy in here tonight, and the crowd isn't here quite as early as we're used to. It's a little subdued right now, but you know, that can change very quickly, Doug. We've seen it happen before. Right. The Blackhawks come out and they're able to jump on, uh, on the North Stars and get that lead. That'll bring the, the, the noise level back in this building, but the North Stars have got other plans for that. A fast start could be the key for both of these teams. We'll have the game coming right up on Receptive Channel 9. Stars and the Blackhawks are all locked up at two wins apiece in this Norris Division semifinal. Welcome back to Chicago Stadium with Tom Reed. This is Doug McLeod. No sooner do we not have the lineups and the scratches, and they brought them to us during that break. It's a little bit interesting who's not in the lineup tonight. Especially for Chicago. Al Secord out of the lineup. Also, Bob Murray, who's played in over a thousand games for the Blackhawks. He also is not in the lineup. Scratched also is Mike Hudson, their centerman. But back in the lineup, they have. Uh, Jocelyn Lemieux is back in the lineup, and also right. Michelle Goulet back in the lineup. They're looking for some scoring punch and some tech activity on the ice. Mark Tenorti will be playing. Zettler is out of the lineup, but uh, Tenorti is in the lineup, so that'll help the North Stars on defense. That big national anthem, and then game five from the Blackhawks and the North Stars coming right up. He didn't take over control of the game where he was the number one focal point. The players were. Of course, we're looking at the, the players coming up the, the long step down to their dressing room here. There's only three dressing rooms in this in this building. One for the uh, Bulls, one for the Blackhawks, and the other for the visitors, whoever they may be. <laughs> so, so if you're the Charlotte Hornets, get out of the way for the Minnesota North Stars because here come the big boys to come in and play hockey. Well, the North Stars among other things, through an interesting uh, couple of changes. They had a new line the other night. Gagne Bellows Stars had a fast start the other night. 2-0. In fact, Mike Keenan used his timeout late in the first period to basically slow down a North Star power play that was underway at the time. You know, the specialty team for the North Stars, penalty coming has just been superb. It's ironic that the North Stars have the most penalties of any team in the Mass Hockey They are averaging 49 minutes a game right now. Chicago is something like 43.5, so Obviously, the North Stars are the bad guys in this whole and thing. And all of it thanks to the series between these two yeah, teams, That's too. exactly right. <laughs> but, you know, 
now the North Stars have got their work out for them. They know how difficult it is to play in this building, but they've done it before. Greg Milne's going to get the call once again for Chicago after being yanked the other night. He's right back in that, and that's the type of competitor that he is. He's been yanked twice in four games now, and obviously Mike Keenan is not shy about doing it. Frank Pellico at the organ, Wayne Messmer, the vocalist. It's the national anthem just prior to Doris Division semifinal game five at Chicago Stadium. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the we once were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in our gave proof through the night that our flag was still center too and it's been a noisy tempestuous playoff series so far the North Stars and Blackhawks and game five of the Norris semi coming up I look at the North Star goaltender once again John Casey who had the shutout the other night has played in four games with a goals against average of 2.01 phenomenal playoff record for him with two wins and two losses Greg Millen back in net playing in his fifth game in the previous four games a goals against average of 3.36 with one victory and two losses in that stretch. The officials for tonight's hockey game. The referee will be Dan Marowelli, and he will be assisted on the lines by Dan McCourt and Ray Scampanello. Alternates for the game will be Kerry Fraser and also Mike Civic. And now let's go to Doug McLeod and the play-by-play -play of game five. All right, Tom Reed, and here we go. And it's a best of three series now with it all locked up at two games apiece. Puck comes quickly into the Chicago zone, and as quickly as it gets there, it'll be icing as Michelle Goulet comes wheeling in to pick up the puck. And there'd been much discussion about Michelle Goulet and whether and when he was going to get in the lineup for Chicago. Well, he's only played in one game, and because Mike Keenan, the coaches you're looking at right now, not very happy was it with his work ethic. And Mike said that yesterday in practice he worked much, much harder, and so we're going to give him a chance. Fairbache very happy with his crew right now, but he also knows there's always room for improvement, and that's why he and Doug Jarvis and Dave Chambers and Craig Hartford spent a lot of time together analyzing game film. What can we do differently? Where can we improve? 13 seconds into the game, the puck from the faceoff in the Stars zone. Goulet right to the side of the net. But Gavin will pull it away. The North Stars come to center. Stuart Gavin against Doug Wilson. Aaron Brock for the point. Good drive, and it's sticked away by Millen. Up into the crowd and out of play. 27 this, seconds into the first. This is where the North Stars want to play very disciplined hockey. They don't want to find themselves running around and, and succumbing to the, the pressure put on by the noise of the fans here in Chicago. They want to play a smart play. You watch the play right here where Gavin will drop the puck. He goes to the net. Now look at the room that there is for that shot coming from the defense. And right there, you can see Mill able to make the save to deflect it high over top of the glass and get the first good scoring opportunity of this hockey game. Now, Neil Broughton is on with Aaron Broughton and Stuart Gavin, the Minnesota forward line. Kurt Giles and Neil Wilkinson are on defense. Dennis Savard, number 18, stands for the draw against Neil Broughton and comes behind the net. Millen. Now, Larmer, bumped by Giles. They flip it ahead. Here's Savard cutting in on Wilkinson, centering for Goulet, right back for Savard, but that was sniffed out by Wilkinson, who flipped it away. 
Casey behind the net. Neil Broughton now for the North Stars in his own zone. Aaron Broughton comes out to center. It'll skip down on to Greg Mellon, who leaves it for Doug Wilson. No score in the game, just underway. And we're just completing the first minute of play at Chicago Stadium. Here's Mark Tenorti, bumped by Gilbert. It comes to center, Lemieux and Gagne locked up. Conroy, now Barber sails in with a buck, but Bellows is way deep in enemy territory, and offside. Donnie Barber will be our guest at the end of period number one, and of course, two big goals, the first and second goal scored in the game the other night in that 4-0 birthday plus an assist, made him a well-known name in Minnesota on that particular day. Blackhawks in this building on the season, 25 victories, 13 losses and two ties. So this obviously is their favorite place to play during the course of the season. This is the new line that Pierre Paget put together just Tuesday night. Gagne centering Bellows and Barber. Siren is on in the first game. He is dressed in this playoff series with Larry Murphy, the other defenseman. In the North Star zone, Lemieux. Down goes Siren. He was off balance was Lemieux. Murray tried to fire, but no. Troy Murray behind the net now for the Blackhawks. He goes up the right wing. Murray swing and a miss. Bellows was pestering him. Murphy tries to clear. Here's Troy Murray again centering. But no. Now Churla swings over for the North Stars at his check. Lemieux digging away in there. Murray and Siren behind the net. Siren for Larry Murphy. Murphy up the boards. Churla slides it to the line. They bat it around and back out to center. Now Gilbert whacks it back in. John Casey serves it up and plays it ahead now for Shane Sherla. Barry Barazan is there to play it off the boards, crossing with McRae. Barazan shoots. McRae got a piece of it, but no. He's belted by Dave Manson along the end boards. Buck comes clear and back out to neutral ice. Now the Blackhawks come down. Bob McGill shooting. Thomas on the right side, but no. Creighton bumps with Sherla. Thomas now McGill in the slot is shot off the equipment of Chambers. Basil McRae picks it up for the North Stars, bumping with McGill. There is Manson back in his own zone. They play it ahead. Chambers there, but Sherla Manson's still deep in the zone. Stars won't be able to play the puck. Giles hangs on and drives it back in deeply. Here is Dave Manson on the end boards. They dig it around, a loose puck to the line. Barber fires, hits Manson, turned away off the skate of Thomas, but Gagne's there. He's checked out by Ronick. Now Dwayne Sutter over the line, Ronick. Drop pass, Sutter fires, deflected, got his own second shot, but no. And a penalty coming now as Giles was sent sprawling down to the deck behind the Minnesota net, and the penalty on Sutter coming. This may be a major penalty, and it should be. Giles is still down. He got the high stick, and it was Sutter who created the penalty call by the official. Right now, you can see the referee down there looking at Kurt Giles to see what the nature of the injury is, and if it's cut, then it will be a major penalty. We'll wait for the official call because we'll put the North Stars on the power play. They're going to have at least a two-minute. We'll see if they get five. No score early in the game. We'll be right back. On that play, as a result, a major penalty goes against Dwayne Sutter, so the North Stars will have a power play advantage for at least five minutes if there's no additional penalties. Also, Sutter now is now out of the game because of the infraction. Watch it right here. Watch for number two. Now you'll see Giles right there by the side of him. Now watch the play right here as they're battling back and forth. Now look at that slash of the stick right across the facial area and Giles is back up. He's back over in the North Star bench so apparently he's okay as you're looking at him right now and he was cut. Five minutes for high sticking. And so this is a good opportunity now for the North Stars to pick up. 54. Blackhawk penalty Sutter. Five minutes high sticking in a game misconduct at 2.54. So there it is, the five-minute major penalty to Sutter at 2.54 of the first period. And the North Stars, whose power play is about 16% in the playoffs, neither team has had a particularly potent power play in the playoffs. The Blackhawks is only a little over 12%. We'll go on a five-minute man advantage now. Dan Marowelli, the referee. You see Mike Keenan getting the explanation from Doug Wilson. Well, remember, it was Sutter and Giles had a pretty good step two back in the Twin Cities and Giles kind of handling pretty well in that situation and as a result there's a lot of feeling that perhaps the center may try to get back at him and he did try to do it just there. Really chill, but seaweed is a key to its success. It's one reason. Arguing the case and Doug Wilson's wife had a baby boy yesterday nine pounds six ounces. Wow his series is even at two now <laughs> he's got two of each. Two boys and two girls. I don't know if there'll be a tiebreaker in that one or not but he's got two of each now. Well, it's a five-minute 
in the early going. Now the North Stars all gathered around to the right of John Casey discussing the play and what they want to do right now. And they've kind of broken up because a lot of emphasis is put on the power play. And, and the players out here right now with Gagne and all Delian and Bellows and Murphy and Neil Broughton back in the points trying to establish their positions on the ice and how they're going to play it. Remember when you're in this game, you've got to almost just react to what's happening. It isn't a chance where you have a, 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 an opportunity to set up to set up certain plays and so on. You've got to be able to make quick decisions depending on how the opposition is setting up. In the first round of the playoffs so far, the North Star power play is about four points lower percentage-wise than it was during the regular season. And the penalty kill for Chicago is also about uh, three points, three and a half points worse than it was in the regular season. Five-minute power play for the North Stars. Sutter got a five-minute high-sticking major and a game misconduct at 254. Now the Hawks have the puck. Here's Yanni back in his own zone. And he'll gun it all the way back down as the North Stars will wheel back. Looks like the Lions when we're setting up an icing call between them, but of course the Hawks are offside. Or uh, shorthanded, rather. Hawk turned back into the North Star zone, and here is John Casey. Larry Murphy on a five-minute power play for Minnesota. Neil Broughton is there. The Hawks trying to break it up with Lemieux deep. Neil Broughton lit is broken up by Lemieux. And it's picked up offside by Brian Bellows. Doug, the North Stars are not skating right now. They're trying to be a little bit too cute with the puck. They're trying to make the perfect pass, but they've got to pick up the momentum just a little bit here because the Blackhawks doing a lot of forward checking, trying to force the North Stars into making those bad plays. And Jocelyn Lemieux on the ice trying to carry, create some havoc out there as well. Sutter will be suspended for game six because that is his second game misconduct in this series. So he will be out for game number six. Now the North Stars' five-minute power play has four minutes and 26 seconds to roll. There's no score. Three and a half minutes into the first period. Game five in Chicago. Into the Chicago zone. DeLeon will have to carry it back out. I think they were going to be offside. Larry Murphy plays it off the boards. Back in his own zone now for Neil Brock. Troy Murray goes deep to mess it up for the Hawks, or try to. Yanni picks it up right at the blue line and fires it back in. You can really tell the North Stars are playing overly cautious right now. They're very nervous about making mistakes early on in this period. Four minutes left on the five-minute power play. Neil Broughton for Brian Bellows. Tipped away by the fist of Yanni. Picked up in the corner by Larmer. Now the Hawks will chip it free. Stars with only one man back, and that's Larry Murphy. Here's Bellows with 3.45 to go on the power play. Larry Murphy is there. Now it's turned back out. The Stars needing shots on their power play. Here's Chambers. Now Murphy back in his own zone. Too far for Sean Chambers. And Greg Millen plays it behind the net. And Gilbert whacks it free. Not much juice on this North Star power play so far. It has three minutes and 15 seconds to go in it. No score early in the game. Now Sean Chambers will chop it in. Millen is there to swing the puck away. Savard got it to the line. Chambers keeps it alive. Onside, yes. Now Barber down the right boards. Bumped by Conroy. And Michelle Goulet comes out for Chicago and fires one off the blocker of Casey. Goulet and Chambers go to the corner. Five minutes into a scoreless first. Just under three minutes to go in the major power play for the Stars. But there's Savard Conroy with a drive. And a save by Casey. And a penalty coming on the North Stars. Oh, brother, a penalty is coming on the North Stars. And that's the end of the major power play. There is no score. And we'll be right back. Stars will pick up a holding penalty. He grabs in Goulet in front of the North Star net. And that will nullify the power play opportunity for the North Stars. Here's a shot coming from Conroy from the point. Now watch in front of you of the net right there. You can see him just pulling him down. And as a result, both teams will play at four skaters aside right now. 2.43 to go in the penalty to Sutter. And, of course, two minutes to Sean Chambers. So in two minutes, the North Stars will have the power play for another 43 seconds. But, Doug, they are not doing very well in this power play. They've had just one shot. The Blackhawks have had one shot. But the North Stars not skating at the beginning of this period. And this was the important part of the game to start with. Here's Tenorti is playing wounded. Up ahead for Gagne. Now Bellows driving over the line on Yanni. Bellows shoots one deflected high. And it whacks down on the corner board. Brian Bellows sails after it again. Now picked up by Doug Wilson who angles the puck to the line. Here's Larmer for Chicago. 
And into the Minnesota zone it goes. Savard tried to center, poked away by Giles. His first shift since he was racked up by Sutter. Now Tenorti. Centered off the skate of Bellows, drops it to the circle. Savard reaching for it, whipped it away from Giles. Now here's Tenorti for Minnesota. Each team a man short for a minute 17. Then the Stars back on the power play for just over 40 seconds. Here is Dave Manson back in his own zone for Chicago. Wilson away from Manson. Jeremy Roenick pulls it away from the boards. Wilson is there. And the Hawks come back out. Roenick, big wide, the shot right on to Casey. Here on the left side is Wayne Presley. They bat it around, poked away from Roenick, and Casey will swing it away. Neil Wilkinson out for the North Stars. Here is Madonna over the line. Barber cuts left, shoots right on, save Millen. He'll run it right up the slot and bash it away. Tenorti, now Presley sails it, pulls it free, checked once. Steve Conroy with a drive, saved by Casey. And a whistle there as Casey had the puck and then it popped away. And Presley thought it should still have been in play. Uh, Wayne Presley created the opportunity for the Blackhawks as he and Tenorti were racing the puck. Remember, Tenorti's got some bruised ribs. He pulled up a little bit. That allowed Presley to be able to squirt away from him gra grab that loose puck tried to come out he put it back to conroy look at the shot and you see casey having a problem with it but a quick whistle was on the benefit of the north stars as chicago coming very close they've outshot the north stars four to two but we're still scoreless in the first period of this hockey game as you look at greg millen also trying to help out and that defensive role acting as a fifth defenseman back there moving the puck up a minute and seven seconds remaining in the penalty to dwayne sutter on that major for the blackhawks in 24 seconds and the penalty to the north stars sean chambers Greg Millen has been pulled twice in four playoff games so far. Playing very aggressively here in the early going. Now, four on four for 24 seconds. Troy Murray for the draw against Gagne. Here's Matson winds up and hit Gagne with it. That staggered Gagne. Lemieux in the corner, centered, poked by Gagne. Bellows trying to get out of the zone. Now it's up for Gagne again. Flips it over the line. Wilkinson cuts right in, shoots one through the goal crease. Here's Broughton, five seconds away from a brief North Star power play. They try to center, but no, and now power play number two for the Stars will last 43 seconds. But it's going to have to start back behind their net. Neil Broughton comes out for Minnesota and away for Bellows. Brian Bellows at neutral, whacks it over the line, and it caught, looked like it caught the instep maybe of Gagne. Neil Broughton. Wheeling around through neutral, 22 seconds, the North Star power play. Now as Broughton is hauled down, Bellows flips it clear. Larry Murphy takes a sweep at it. DeLeon is there. He's turning and jump by Manson. DeLeon, who had a number of power play goals with the Rangers. Here's Murphy at the point. That deflected way wide. Yanni trims it away, and the brief North Star power play expires. No score, eight minutes gone in the first period. Here comes Sean Chambers for Minnesota. He winds a little one off Yanni, but no. McCray coming in, bashing away on Van Dorp. Bodies flying, but Merrill is letting them play. Now out comes Trent Yanni for Chicago, flips it to the North Star zone. Batted back by Tenorti. Played off the float by Shane Sherla. Both teams are full strength. Sherla centers one, picked off by Wayne Van Dorp. And Van Dorp will bring it back ahead. Turned ahead at neutral by Chambers. Out of play with 11.29 to go in the first period. There's no score at Chicago Stadium. It's, and it's you've heard it many times. It basically is a very simple game. You can break it down to fundamentals. If you execute the fundamentals, you'll do well. If you try to get fancy, if you try to make the extra pass, you break up the team game. He said that in criticism of his own team the other day. Now Savard coming back for Chicago. It's hooked down by Chambers, and a penalty is coming on Sean Chambers. A hooking penalty on Chambers, and it'll be a power play now. The first one of the night for Chicago. It's a scoreless first period. We'll be right back. This Saturday night, game six. Last we heard, less than 4,000 seats available. Now Ticketmaster is open till 10 o'clock tonight. You can charge by phone at 989-5151. Of course, the Met Center ticket office open as well tomorrow. 
Ticketmaster open till 10 tonight. Charged by phone 989-5151. Free parking for the playoffs. Parking lot opening at 5 o'clock, and there were some good times in the parking lot the other day. Shades of old when Met Stadium was around as well. It should be a dandy. Game six Saturday night. Yawney fires on the power play and a save by Casey. Again, it's a, whole, a hooking penalty to Sean Chambers at 847. He has both the North Star early penalties. First power play of the night for Chicago. No score in the game. Yawney from the line. Now in for Larmer. Giles right in front of him. Larner kicks it up high to Yawney. Now here's Doug Wilson. Giles goes down as he and Savard were bumping in the deep slot. Goulet for Wilson. Michel Goulet in from Quebec just weeks ago. Here's a one-timer by Wilson off Gavin. Savard behind the net. Stars keeping that box nice and tight. Here's Savard back to the line for Yanni on the right side. Wilson, they threw the puck away. Uh, he just missed fire on that. He made the right play by coming into the corner. Savard went back to the point, but there's no way that he could get to that puck just out of range for him to, to get it. And what the North Star is trying to do, it worked effectively there, is force him to making those bad passes. North Star penalty kill successful. 81.9% of the regular season, 87%. And there was a big collision at Tenorti. He's going to get the penalty as he and Ronick slammed into the wall. Well, Ronick was coming in behind the net. Mark Tenorti trying to make his presence felt. He did there as he took a, a pretty good run at Ronick. Watch the play right here as it unfolds. You can see there are two of them there, but he grabbed and cut, got the left arm up in the face of Ronick, and he has been called for roughing, and that penalty will make... The Blackhawks with a two-man advantage right now. 53 seconds remaining in the penalty of Sean Chambers. That call coming at 9 minutes and 54 seconds of a scoreless first period. Now the North Star penalty kill crew is really going to have to dig in. Down two men for 53 seconds as Tenorti gets the gate for roughing at 9.54. No score in the game. First period at jam-packed Chicago Stadium. If you put off getting your tickets for Saturday night, they are going fast. So I suggest you might even make a call to Ticketmaster tonight. By all means, get out to the Met in advance, like tomorrow, and get your tickets. Don't wait for game night. Now the puck sails back to the Chicago zone, and Millen starts it ahead. Good goalie, always the sixth man on the power play. Here's Dennis Savard, 5-on-3 advantage. Wilkinson fell down, but Savard couldn't play it. Now Savard, Doug Wilson, deep for Ronick. Walking, centering, oh, hit the goal post with a stick to rebound, score! Thomas hit the post with his stick, but Ronick got the rebound. It's a 5-on-3 power play goal for the Blackhawks. 1-0 Chicago. Well, that is Chicago's fifth power play Goal scored in this series as they are one for one. A two-man advantage. There were 30 seconds remaining in the penalty chambers. But watch as the play unfolds here. Chicago with Savard handling the puck, getting over to Wilson. He's not going to shoot. He puts it aside. He tries to put the puck to the far side. Ronick does. The puck comes right back to him off of the pipe. And you can see he puts it away. And Ronick making a great play there. Has hit on the season, he had 26 goals as a rookie but made the good play as well as he was able to get it and put it away. And the Blackhawks lead 1-0. That goal coming at 10 minutes and 17 seconds of the first period. And you saw Thomas did not really get a shot. He got his upper handle of the blade on the goal post. And we could hear it whack up here, but he nudged the puck right back. It was an unintended get-back pass to Ronick. Ronick gets a 5-on-3 power play goal, his second goal of the playoffs at 27th of the season. At 10-17 of the first period. It is 1-0. Now power play two for the Blackhawks is five on four. And they come steaming back in again. 1-0 Chicago. Here is Yanni. They go on the right side for Steve Thomas. Popped away by Giles. He and Thomas go down. Larmer kicks it up high. Wilson deep. Here's Savard. Shot save. Wilson cruising for the rebound. Is knocked away by Chambers. And all the way back down. Now, the North Stars have killed off 15 straight shorthanded situations, but they couldn't hold them back there with the Chicago with a two-man advantage. Now one in their last 16. But that was the big one, a five-on-three power play goal. 
It is 1-0 Chicago. Puck loose in the Stars zone. 38 seconds left on this 5-on-4 Blackhawk man advantage, and Millen will have to play it again. Here's Dave Manson. Out through neutral. Siren and Wilkinson, the penalty-killing defenseman. Duchesne and Gavin, the forwards. Goulet throws it in. Here is Adam Creighton right on the inboard. Siren takes him off. Wilkinson plays it clear, but not out. Manson at the point, rockets it for Keith Brown. They go deep to Creighton, the centering pass, backhand misfire. And Manson will pick it up at neutral. Seven sec seconds now remaining in the roughing penalty to Mark Tenorti. Here is Manson, angle pass to the line. That's the end of the power play. North Stars at full strength now as Tenorti got bumped at neutral. Here's Chicago's Greg Gilbert. This will sail all the way back to the Stars zone. It should go for icing as Murphy picks it. Oh, they waved it off, and play goes on. Just over 12 minutes gone on the first. one nothing Blackhawks on Jeremy Ronix. Five on three, power play goal. Puck is at neutral. Here is Troy Murray. Now the Hawks come out. Bob McGill at center. Trims it to the Stars zone. Casey tried to whack it away, didn't get all of it. In the corner for Greg Gilbert. Here's Troy Murray behind the net for Chicago. Right to the post. Poked by Gagne. Gilbert is there off balance. Snaps it behind the net. Now Conroy shoots. Big screen wide. Up the right boards they go. McGill. They bang it around. Now Gagne behind the net. Gagne, who was not available last year to the Stars in the playoffs. Oh, Murphy coughed it up. Larry Murphy looked up and lost the puck, but Giles retrieved. Now Murphy out to center. And it'll roll back to the Hawks' end. Still the play goes on. Popped ahead by Conroyd. Here is Van Dorp at the line. Now McGill throws it in for Chicago. And as Tenorti picks it up behind the net, icing is called, and Tenorti got a high stick in from Presley. But play will stop on the icing call on Chicago. It's 1-0 the Hawks. We'll be visiting with Don Barber. We'll also have a recorded feature with North Stars assistant coach Doug Jarvis. That's all ahead of the first intermission tonight as Mike Keenan's Blackhawks scored on a five-on-three power play opportunity. The only rookie in their lineup, Jeremy Roenick, got it in. one nothing Chicago. Never did hear a whistle, but they'll do it again anyway. Now, Larmer and DeLeon coming together. Larmer got the glove up off the faceoff and just pushed DeLeon back a little bit. 6.47 to go in the first period. Hawks lead the North Stars one to nothing. DeLeon for the draw with Larmer. Farmer wins it. Here's Yanni behind the net. And it'll trickle back for the North Star zone. Here comes Savard. High in the slot. Twisting, winding, shooting. He scores! The goal light never came on. Now it's on after the pass. It hit the crossbar. It hit the crossbar. And that goal coming at 13 minutes and 26 seconds. And Denny Savard, it looked like an innocent play, but watch what happens back in the North Star zone. Looks like a man-on-man -man coverage right here. Savard cuts back, and look how the defensemen all coming together. Tenorti can't get over to him, and Savard uh, gives him that freedom to get the puck up. It went up high. It was in the corner of the net at the top. You'll watch it again. That's where the goal was signaled, up on top. You'll see it right up in there, and that's where it's in. Then it came down, hit on the line, but it was already in the net from the initial shot. And so the Blackhawks on the goal by Savard. Take the lead 2 0 at 13 26. Dan Marowelli was right in position to see it. The goal judge never turned the light on. But as you saw, and it was a good call, Tommy, it was in under the crossbar completely. By the time it dropped, clearly it was not over the end line, but it had already been all the way in. Now it is 2 0 Chicago. They come back and fire a save by Casey. Farmer went down trying to draw a penalty, but nothing there. And Aaron Broughton will carry it back out again. Here come the Stars, down by two. Presley behind the net, smacked there by Gavin. And now we're going to have... Are you going to call a penalty? Nope, apparently not. 5.48 to go in the first. Blackhawks two, and the North Stars nothing. Here They've only had two shots on net. And the first 14 minutes and 12 seconds, the Blackhawks have two goals. The only goals of this game, as you look at the goal once again, but they've had 10 shots on net. They have clearly controlled this first period. The North Stars, as we mentioned, have not been skating the way we've seen them skate before. And as a result, they're in a hole right now. 
548 to go in the first. It is 2-0 Chicago. And the North Stars with two shots on goal in this game so far. Savard from Yanni and Larmer. Under the crossbar. Now Thomas all the way up. And a penalty. Well, Thomas was hauled down, and I think it's going to be either Murphy or Sharon that get the gate. On that, we'll see which one is going to go to the penalty box as Thomas had broken through the defense right there. You'll watch with a little burst of speed, and he's got the desire. 40 goals on the air, and look at them both trying to grab on there. Casey watching the puck all the way, and it's going to be Sharon that is called for hooking. Could have gone either way, 14-19. And the North Stars continue to grab on to hook to whatever they have to do because the Blackhawks are on a roll. Billy Surin in for Minnesota. Third power play of the night coming for Chicago. Look at the shots, 10 to two, Chicago. And there will be some one-sided discussion in the locker room in the first intermission, courtesy of that man, Pierre Paget, because the North Stars have taken four penalties, and all of them, well, all of them in a series like this are going to be big ones, but... Uh, the thing is, so often, Doug, even if they're getting chances, but they're not even getting the chances no. of Greg Millen. Now from the draw in the North Star zone, here is Steve Larmer. Doug Wilson on the right side, they go for Yanni. Now Larmer picks it up. Power play for Chicago. Here's Savard deep up for Yanni. Now Wilson inside the line, picked off by Gavin, but the Hawks keep it alive. 139 in the Chicago power play. Savard, Wilson with a blast that hit the glass. Savard now off to Nordy. Wilson back for Savard. Loose puck there, fans yelping for a penalty. Nothing coming. And it'll be chased back into the Chicago zone. Here's Wilson to play it ahead for Yanni. Thomas down the right wing now for Chicago. Giles, Wilkinson, Duchesne, and Bellows to kill it off for Minnesota right now. Steve Thomas, nobody to give it to, fired it into Giles. Now here's Doug Wilson, 55 seconds left in the third power play tonight for Chicago. Wilson, deep now for Jeremy Roenick, who got the first goal of the game on a five on three power play. Great for Thomas, who could not connect. Now Ronick down the right corner, cutting right, drops it back. Thomas watched by Giles, Wilson, deep, Ronick fires, save Casey, and Casey will cover it up with 33 seconds left of the power play. But now Creighton fires a little punch at Wilkinson after the whistle, and they want to go. But the linesmen, Ray Scapanello and Dan McCourt, are hanging on to them. Oh, that was back in front of the net. Both of those players pushing each other. Wilkinson took the first little shot with the left glove into the face of Creighton. Creighton came back, and they'll both pick up roughing penalties at 15.46 of the period. Watch right in front of the North Star net. It'll come into the left of your screen. You'll see these two guys. There's a nice little deflection by Roenick. There's the, the save is made, but you can see the two combatants at the top of your screen. The shot by Doug Wilson purposely to the side to try to get Roenick with a deflection who's there, but Roenick was a little bit in, in too tight to the goaltender and couldn't put it in behind him. Now, the power play continues for Chicago. 33 seconds is left in the original penalty, which is Davili Sharon. It's a five on four advantage, and the North Stars now using Gavin and Berezan, Tenorti and Chambers to kill it off. Two nothing, the Blackhawks lead. Barazan against Larmer for the draw. And Perry Barazan wins the big one. Here is Chambers now for the North Stars. Try to backhand and hit Goulet. Still alive in the Stars zone. Goulet comes in, a good center. Oh, but we're gonna have a whistle behind the play. Hand Call, pass. It was, was called. It? Yeah, the, the linesman called the hand pass and it was right inside the North Star blue line. The referee did not see it. His vision may have been blocked by a player in front of him but it was Dan McCord who saw the hand pass and made the call, and that's the right call as he's over now discussing it with the referee, Dan Marowelli. Faceoff will be outside the North Star blue line, 4.02 to go in period number one. The North Star's trailing 2 to nothing, and Billy Sirin 
still in the box with 21 seconds to go on his minor penalty. Bears in for the draw against Dennis Savard of Chicago. Linesman Ray Scapanello with a drop of the puck. Again, Barisan wins the draw shorthanded. That's twice. Now out to neutral. Here's Doug Wilson for the Blackhawks. Up for Savard. Twisting and turning. Seven seconds on the power play. As you can hear, Millen cranking his stick on the ice. Yanni taps it down. Larmer there. Now center by Savard. Swing by Savard and nothing as the power play expires. Now Billy Sierra just out of the penalty box. Centering for Gavin, but no. And the Hawks come back out again. Here's Michelle Goulet. Turned back by Murphy. It is deep in the Blackhawks zone and carried out now by Brown. Broken up. Bellows couldn't play it. Now Gilbert there for Chicago. And ahead for Troy Murray. Casey behind the net. Now Murphy pulls it away for Minnesota. Stars trail two to nothing, just over three minutes to go in the first. Here comes Dave Gagne, turned away. Gagne right in front of the net, but no, and Murphy will have to chase. Murphy now plays it ahead, tipped by Gagne. Here is Manson in the neutral zone. Bellows couldn't pick it up. Lemieux centers. Here's Gilbert for Chicago. Backhand save. Lemieux with a shot and a save by Casey. Sierra down on the deck. Here's Jocelyn Lemieux again. Just did not long ago from Montreal. Throws it down on the end board. Sierra all wrapped up down there with Gilbert and really corkscrewed him to the deck. Casey backhands it away. Now here is Brian Bellows out to center. Caroms away from Farber. Turned back for the Blackhawks. Wayne Presley steps in over the line. Here's Jeremy Roenick centering for Presley. Loose puck, a whack at it by Murphy, got it away. Bob McGill now for Chicago, shooting. It goes high and wide. Up for Manson, but it will drizzle out to neutral ice. Now 2-0 Chicago, two minutes to go on the first. The crowd ripping and roaring here at Chicago Stadium. The big start went to the Blackhawks in this one. Delian off the boards for Duchesne. Checked by Presley. They go back behind the net, but Millen will golf it away. Ulf Delian swings after it, smacks his man. Presley gets it out to center, and they pile it up there. Delian and Duchesne down in the thick of things. And that apparently will be all of that. Right in front of the North Stars bench, some yapping as well as some pushing and shoving with a minute 37 to go in the first. It is 2-0. The Blackhawks leave. Game six coming up at Met Center on Saturday night. Oh, what a game that will be. Ticketmaster open until 10 o'clock tonight. You can charge by phone at 989-5151. Tickets were really sailing along here early today. The last we heard, just a under 4,000 left. So now's the time, 989-5151. That center ticket office, of course, open tomorrow. All Ticketmaster location. Free parking for the playoffs. Parking lot opens at 5 o'clock Saturday night for game six. John Casey has been under fire here in the mid and late period. Here's a kick save right back out, but charging in Steve Larmer. Didn't get much of a shot, and you saw Gilbert is there as well. Dave Gagne, stick handling, gets crunched right there. Buck loose, Bellows whap right in the corner by Murray. Here's one for you, Brian Bellows, courtesy of Steve Conroy. They've had elbows, fists, sticks, helmets, knees, and feet, shoes not included. 137 to go in the first period. 2-0 the Blackhawks lead. And that's popped up over into the bench and a little tussle again as Chicago's Trent Yanni is involved, among others. Tom Reed on his way downstairs where he'll have a discussion with Don Barber. Live at the top of our first intermission, we'll also have a pre-recorded feature with North Star's assistant coach, Doug Jarvis. Now a minute 33 left in the first period. And it's interesting, the Hawks were very loosey-goosey on Monday after a big win here. They came in and got walloped at Met Center. North Star's pretty loose earlier, and now they're on the short end of things. They're saying at the top of the telecast, you got to be loose and you also have to be intense. Sounds like it would be contradictory. And that's the tough part about playing pro sports. Goulet centers for Larmer. Turn back. Yoni with a blast deflected away. 
Now Savard tried to keep it in, but no. Gagne got it out to neutralize. Here's Doug Wilson now for the Hawks. Larmer down the right boards, but he's tied up by Giles. Played away by Casey behind the net. Now Chambers pulls clear for the North Stars. Plays it. Whoa! And Gagne lined up. And Chambers just lined up Dennis Savard. And there have been a lot of guys who I'm sure wanted to do that. But oh my, with a minute one to go in the first period and trailing two to nothing. Well, you will not be able to miss this one. Gagne and Chambers made a sandwich out of Dennis Savard. Take a look as they come out of the zone. Gagne on your right, Chambers there. Savard with a little hack right there. Now as they come back out, Gagne closes, and that's Gagne who makes the contact. Chambers behind him, and I'm not sure how much of him Chambers got. But it was pretty obvious, no question about that. Stuart Gavin is wearing one of the A's for the Stars. Look at the ice shavings all over Savard. Now the referee, Dan Marowelli, talking it over with his linesman. Meanwhile, standing by themselves, Gagne and Chambers. Take a look again. We'll see what Savard did. Chambers with a puck. Savard comes in with a stick up high and slashes Chambers. Gagne has had enough of Savard, so I'm sure is Chambers. And after the slash, here comes Dave Gagne. Boom. Possibly three penalties there, certainly two. Savard and Gagne should each go. The original slash was to Savard. So far, only one penalty is showing on the board, and that's to Gagne, and that's not right. Well, actually, they punched up Gagne's number on the Blackhawks' side of the board. Let's pick it up. At 18.59. Oh, that's it? Minnesota penalty, Gagne, two minutes for well, ice sticking at 18.59. From what we saw, there should also have been a slash. But it was a long view across the ice. Gagne certainly got the high sticking. There's no question about that. Two nothing Blackhawks late in the first period. And the Blackhawks are gonna go back on the power play for the fourth time tonight. Both teams losing some of the control the coaches hoped they had learned. Now Wilson fires it in for Chicago as the Hawks are on the power play. The North Stars with two shots on goal in the first period. That will stop the play. And now with 49 seconds remaining in the period, we'll face it off back in the Chicago zone. The least shots on goal the North Stars had in a game in the playoffs was 18. There's no indication of fewest shots in a period in the playoffs. It can't have been many fewer than this, though. Now 49 seconds left in the period. Hawks on the power play the rest of this period and part of the second. Here comes Michelle Goulet. It is 2-0 Chicago. Goulet skims one deep. Larmer goes to the corner. Checked by Gavin. Chambers behind the net. Barazan trying to clear. Now Tenorti belts him, but the puck dribbles away to Adam Creighton. Here's Larmer now at the line. Firing. Goulet falling. Tried the shot, and it's somewhere there in the pads of John Casey, who wasn't too sure where it was. But like a good goalie will, he froze, and he knew it was in there. Couple of good quick shots by the Hawks on the power play. Steve Larmer is always in the thick of things. And here, back in the lineup, Michelle Goulet. And only the second game of the playoffs that he's had. Didn't get a lot on it. 
Larmer with a good long. It was a shot, not a centering pass, but Goulet was Johnny on the spot right on the front door, but a good save by John Casey with 19 seconds left of the period. The round of applause is for Dennis Savard, who after getting some smelling salts or something over on the bench, is back out now. Now they crank it out of the zone and all the way back into the Chicago end. 10 seconds remaining in the period. Here comes Trent Yanni for Chicago. Out to neutral. Turned back out by Chambers. Picked up by Savard, and that's the end of the first period. So when we come back for period number two, the Hawks will have 59 additional seconds of power play, and the North Stars will have to dig in again as we take a look at our Phoenix scoreboard at the end of one period of play. In game five, it's Chicago two, and the North Stars nothing. as the period went along and wound up getting only two shots. Well, you're absolutely right, Doug. The, the thing that disturbs me is the North Stars came out with no jump at all. And when you come out like that, you wonder, can we get through the period? They couldn't because the Blackhawks had a very sound period. I think shots and that certainly indicated that 14 to 2 in favor of the Blackhawks over the North Stars. And Minnesota's got to regroup. They got to come out of that shoot this time, and they've got to be ready. Well, still two periods to go. It's still plenty of time to get cracking here, but the North Stars want to, first of all, they've got to kill off the rest of this penalty. Then they want to come out skating, and they want to get back into their game. Well, you're absolutely right. The one thing is there's still plenty of time to do something in this hockey game, and the players realize that. They've been in situations like this before, and they've been able to come back. And so they have to regroup, as we mentioned, come out here and get some of the steam going that they had in that last game and see if they can turn things around. Take a look at our out-of-town scoreboard now as the... Playoffs continue here on this evening in Chicago. Well, Toronto's playing at St. Louis, and Toronto leads St. Louis by a score of 2-1. to one. That's at the end of the first period at St. Louis. Also, two late starts with Los Angeles at Calgary and Winnipeg at Edmonton later on. Well, of course, we want to remember... Game brought to you in part by Carex Muffler and Brake Shops. Don't worry, call the Carex man. Well, there's a guy who's been answering the call as needed, but it hasn't been needed much here in the first period. Greg Mellon, two stops on two shots. John Casey has had a swarm of Blackhawks around him most of the period, and the Hawks now have 59 seconds remaining on their fourth power play of the night, leading 2 to nothing as the second period begins. Mark Tenorti and Dave Chambers are on for Minnesota. Buck comes back in. Larmer fires on the power play. It's deflected away. Here's Chambers, checked by Savard. Savard kicks it up high. Here's the puck inside the point from Wilson. Now Savard guns it rink wide. Yanni, good crisp passing right in front. Hand up. Flipper away by Casey and out of play. Good play by John Casey. Able to follow that puck and with a backhand. Got a piece of it before it can come to his right. But one of the Chicago Blackhawks is standing right on the doorstep. And Michelle Goulet back on the lineup, as we mentioned. He's a guy who can be dangerous, but wants to play right here as it unfolds. And you'll see to the right of Casey, there's Goulet trying to get to that puck, but Casey very quickly just shooting that puck out of the dangerous territory. And with a stoppage of play, the face off will come to Casey's immediate left. Michel Goulet, who had been in Mike Keenan's doghouse coming in from Quebec, had, had some, uh, what was it, sore ribs or something there for a while. And he said, well, I'm willing to say that that's, that's it for now. But he also made an interesting point. When you play for a team that's just flat down and out, like Quebec had been, probably you're not going to come in with the same intensity when you get into a playoff team. And it was literally one day you're with them, the next day you're with a different team. Now here's Yanni with half a minute to go on the Chicago power play. That's deflected off the corner. Goulet crunched as he goes by Tenorti. Doug Wilson on the power play. Now Yanni, a drive by Savard, blocked by Tenorti. Here's Savard, left side in. Here's a swing, snap at it by Larmer, but that didn't go. And the puck up to the point. Wilson runs, winds, guns, deflected away crowd. Jammed by Larmer, right through a crowd, but no Casey down. Wilson plays it on the end boards. Larmer, too bad for Goulet, and all the way back into the Chicago zone. Greg Millen will pick it up as time expires in the penalty, and now the North Stars are at full strength. One minute gone in the second period. It is 2-0 Chicago. That was the Stars' first job in the period, kill off the balance of the penalty. Now at neutral. Chopped in by DeLeon. North Stars' goal right now would make things feel just fine. Here's Gilbert. Plays it back out to neutral. Now Giles for the North Stars. Knocks it ahead. Turned back by Yawning. Jocelyn Lemieux, loose puck. DeLeon and Duchesne there. Duchesne checked by Murray. 
and Giles. Now here's Madonna winding, shoots one, and it sizzles wide. Picked up by Duchesne. He guns it clear, but pulled off by Jocelyn Lemieux. And Lemieux brings the Blackhawks out and whacks a high one, shoulder high, and down onto John Casey. And that could be a dangerous puck when it comes sailing right at your shoulder. Well, if she, Casey was having problems with it. He didn't know quite where it was. He didn't have good, a good hold on the puck. So rather than take the chance of dropping it, he just held on to it and got the stoppage of play. Neil Wilkinson, one of the fine young defensemen for the North Stars, had a great game. The last game at Minnesota, he, along with the other three defensemen left in that game, including, of course, Murphy and Kurt Giles and Sean Chambers had to finish out after Transect Musil and Mark Tenorti went off with injuries. Musil back in the Twin Cities still, nursing that injured shoulder as Tenorti is in this game and doesn't appear to be feeling the effects of those bruised ribs very much right now. Showing some good hard checks out there and trying to make the physical part of the game that much more evident from the part of the North Stars and that's what they need. Well, with only three games left in this playoff series at maximum, every player knows it can be a long, hot summer if you don't give it all right now. Bellows' shot is blocked. Millen flings it away. Searin cruising in to try and break up the outlet pass, but Manson gets it out. Tenorti chasing into his own zone. Now here is Brian Bellows for the North Stars, up for Barber. Don Barber at neutral pulls away from Thomas. Here comes Barber down the right side, trying to pull free of Manson, centering for Gagne. To, Gagne snaps it up high. Here's Giles shooting right on, kicked right back out by Millen, and Adam Creighton will swing it out of the zone. Now the Blackhawks' Wayne Presley will pick it up in his own zone. Out at neutral, snapped by Giles. Brown is there. He hits Savard with it, and it might have hurt Savard a little bit. Harry Berezan for the North Stars. Checked by Wilson. They stack it up in the corner. Here's Larmer. McCray hits the deck with a almighty whack. Now Larmer bangs it out. Here's Goulet winding, shooting, hit the goal post, and it came out again. Whoa, did Goulet crank that one so hard that it rocketed right back and off the goal post. Whoa, man. He actually thought the puck was in. He was pointing the, to the official that it was in the net, but I don't think it was. It hit the pipe and came right back. Now Larmer for the Blackhawks. Picks up the puck on the newly made ice. And they're offside coming in. 16.50 to go in the second. It's the Blackhawks, two and the North Stars, nothing. Stars and the Hawks and all the action you could want. Tickets are on sale at the Met Center ticket office and all Ticketmaster locations. Charged by phone at 989-5151. Ticketmaster open till 10 o'clock tonight. So you can still get your tickets to Ticketmaster locations. Charged by phone. Parking lot opens at 5 and free parking for the playoffs. Hope to see you at Met Center Saturday night. Now the North Stars with the puck and they can use a goal early on here. Here comes Wilkinson early in the second period. It is 2-0 Chicago. Here's Gatton Duchesne centering save. Dalian crashing but no. And back out come the Blackhawks. Roenick return to Van Dorp. Nothing doing there as Van Dorp and Madano go to the corner. Now here is Wayne Presley. Well, there's a study in opposites. Van Dorp and Madonna on the end boards. Now Chambers for the North Stars. A chance to McGill. He drives one that was partially deflected as he got it off. Ulf DeLeon for the North Stars. Kept alive by Ronick, but then DeLeon knocked it away. Four minutes gone in the second period. Here's Manson behind the net. Presley took a little chop at it. Chambers now for the North Stars in the neutral zone. Plays the board pass to the zone. DeLeon couldn't pick it up. McGill for the Hawks. Hooked out to the line. Mark Tenorti there now for Minnesota. Rips it ahead. That'll sail deep into the Chicago zone. And icing is called on the North Stars with 15.36 to go in the second period. 2-0 Blackhawks and all sorts of hockey fans are in the place here tonight, including those who get their own primetime shows a lot more often than we do. As Versus at, this guy. Look at MacGyver, Richard Dean Anderson out of Roseville, Minnesota, a big hockey fan. Yes. And of course, had the chance to play against him a couple of times as he as he plays with the uh, Hollywood celebrities. Quite an interesting team that they have of Hollywood celebrities who love the game of hockey. They played team media. A few old timers along the way. A few NHL greats. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not supposed to say I old timers. I named I? my dog MacGyver. Did you? Yep. Think of that. I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> Here, MacGyver. Here's the puck down in the corner. Now, it's fired to the side of the net. Gilbert is there. They fence for it. 
Pulled back up the right corner boards. Now Brown is there, firing wide. Whoops, right off those lively end boards, but Giles will knock it away. Conroy in off his own man, Troy Murray. Here's Murray, flips it back. Goulet is there, locked up by Kanye. Now Jocelyn Lemieux. Right in through a crowd, backhand shot and a score. Gilbert was in front of the net with Gagne hanging on to him, and he's still got a backhand flipper, and the Hawks lead three to nothing. Well, you can see right now that the North Star is having a problem. Gagne and Giles are both in front of the net. It looked like Gagne had Gilbert tied up, but that's the second effort, and that's what you have to have in playoff hockey as the Blackhawks, who lost the last game, four nothing lead, three nothing right now in this game. Watch what happens here now. When things go well, they go well for you. Now you'll see Gagne come back with Gilbert in behind the goal. Now Watson Kibble in front here. Giles is in the slot area, and he's looking there as well, but he has no chance to get it as, Gil as Gilbert on the backhand puts it to the left of goaltender John Casey, and the Blackhawks lead 3-0 at 4 minutes and 53 seconds of the second period. Not much help gotta, for Casey in this situation. you got to grab on the guy sick if he can, and Gagne couldn't do that. Gilbert playing the puck very well, using his body in front of Gagne, and Gagne and Giles discussing it afterwards, but by then it's too late, and you can see the frustration on the part of Gagne. But nonetheless, the North Stars trail by three. Gilbert's 14th of the year, second of the playoffs. Greg Gilbert scoring for Chicago at 4.53 of the second period. Now it is 3-0 the Hawks, and the Stars play it in, but not for long. Offside pass with 14.49 to go in the second. Gilbert. Here's the Assisted call of the goal. Number 26, Jocelyn Lemieux. And number 19, Troy Murray at 4.53. Lemieux and Murray pick up the assist. That's Troy Murray on Gilbert's 14th of the year and second of the playoffs at 4.53. Well, it's interesting, Lemieux, they weren't quite sure whether he was going to play in this game or not. He did not play the last game. His thigh had swollen up, and they don't know exactly what happened to him, but they put him in the hospital to get that swelling down, and that uh, obviously they were able to be successful with the treatment because he's back in the lineup, and he's the type of guy you want on the ice because he makes things happen. He's a kind of real pesky guy that really takes your mind off the game by the little things that he does. Here's Neil Broughton on the long carom pass. The Stars went ahead to finish the play, but the whistle had already been blown. 14.35 to go in the second period. Blackhawks three, and the North Stars nothing. The Blackhawks, three goals on 17 shots. The North Stars have failed to score yet, but they've only had four shots on net, and none of those have been very difficult shots. As Greg Millen back in the nets once again has had a, quite an easy time of it right now as his players have responded pretty well to him being in that net once again tonight. Aaron Broughton picks off the clearing pass but can't hang on, and here comes Savard, trailed by Larmer. The two Blackhawk veterans, Savard lost it, but here's a blast right on from Wilson. Woo. Now McGill from the point shooting. That was actually deflected by his own man Savard who went to tip it and that didn't pan out. And they're going to talk about that little play. All the breaks are going towards Chicago but the reason they're going toward them because the Blackhawks are moving out here. They're skating very well and as a result they're able to get into those situations. Doug Wilson following up the play here after Denny Savard had carried the puck over the North Star blue line. He cut to his left, dropped it back after Chambers had taken the puck away from him. But look at that shot off of the post. And uh, the Blackhawks with three sh three pipes off of the or three shots off of the post so far in this game, lead by three nothing right now. It could very well be six nothing. John Casey has been standing in down there tonight, but it's three goals in on 18 shots for the Blackhawks. The North Stars now have four shots on goal in the game. Two in the first period, two so far in this one. That's popped up over the glass and out of play with 13.56 to go in the second period. Games like this, you've got to win those little draws and those little skirmishes along the boards to get the puck, and right now it's been Chicago that's been able to win most of those and control the play as we played seven minutes and four seconds of the second period. That helmet looks a little bit large for that kid. It's all right, he'll be a sportscaster <laughs> later on. His head will grow right into it, I guarantee you. No problem. Uh, but with any luck, he could wind up directing television. Then he'll have to split it down the middle and put Velcro on it. Need a bigger helmet then. Helmets, sweaters, socks, day glow ties, shoes not included. Now here's Sherlock and Van Dorp. Look at Sherlock 
Sherman is smart. He's not gonna. He wants. To, he wants to hit Van Dorf so badly. You cannot imagine how much he wants to crank Van Dorf. That goes back to 1986 when they were both in the minors. Sherman still hasn't dropped his stick. He's still nope. got a stick in his glove. Nope. He's he's gonna be Mr. Clean, but you know he wants to just cork him. But he's not gonna do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And Van Dorf clearly the instigator there. Churl is laughing going to the bench. 13.54 to go in the second. It's 3 nothing Blackhawks. Why is Ford Taurus a better... Well, he's down at the, nor uh, the, the penalty bench area right now as Van Dorp is in the box. Now we're waiting to see if there's any additional penalties. The North Star side of the penalty box was open. And you can see Van Dorp doesn't appreciate the, the call that has been made. And now we're going to have to wait and see what's going to happen is... Well, here's, here's the beat, how it started. Van Dorp and Churley in a few words. You can see right here, Churley just went towards him, and Van Dorp dropped, is trying to swing there, but there's no way he can get any of the <laughs> no. punches through. Well, Peter goes Shane. And now we got to see if it's going to be a double penalty against Van Dorp or whether it's going to be a major and a minor or what's going to be called. But Basil McRae was over lobbying for a major right away. He skated right over with his hand up in the figure five and was saying, five, five. He's wearing the C tonight for the North Stars. The Stars had a five-minute power play early in the game and could not connect. But you know they got to be asking, and here it's going to be another major. Wayne Van Dorp, five minutes for fighting at 6.06. Blackhawk penalty well, Van Dorp, five minutes for fighting. There it is again. And again, Churla with great self-control. I, I don't, not very often you see a major penalty call for fighting, and there's nobody, there's only, must have been shadow boxing. Everybody's going to read the... The well, box scores tomorrow and figure, who is he fighting with? He wasn't fighting. He was just punching Churla's helmet, and I don't think he ever touched Shane. It didn't look like it. Look at that. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> well, he's He got, would never do that to He's anybody. got the lead right now, 3-0, yeah. so he can feel good. You know, he can feel comfortable right now, but that's not the time. And you, you knew Van Dorp had to know that Churla was going to try to go him into another penalty. He did it that down back in the Twin Cities at the last game. And, yeah, same and thing. he got two minor penalties against Churla. Churla got nothing, and here he gets a major penalty. So it stacks up each time. Now, if you just joined us, by the way, Dwayne Sutter is out of the game and will be suspended for the game on Saturday night. He was gone at 254 the first and a high sticking plus a game misconduct as he really corked Kurt Giles. So if you've been wondering why we haven't called Sutter's name, we're not going to for a little while. He's gone. Certainly not going to again. Now the North Stars will have their third power play of the night as their second five-minute major. Their first five-minute major lasted only two minutes and 17 seconds before there was a penalty. Now they'll try and get the full five, and of course they can score as often as possible in a five. Gagne down, now here's Bellows. Major power play for the Stars who trail three to nothing. Lemieux gets it out, but didn't get much on it. Larry Murphy and Neil Broughton with Gagne, Bellows, and Ulf Dillian. And Lemieux snaps it back to the North Star zone. Chicago defenseman just standing right up, trying to force the North Stars, even before they get that puck. And They've done a good job of that, but they've got at least one wing coming back to help them out in that regard. Murphy for Gagne. Five-minute power play underway for Minnesota. Second period. They trail by three. Neil Broughton in. Here's Dillian as he went to shoot. He got nailed. They shoot it in. Bellows fires it to the back of the net, but wait a minute. Oh, Bellows thought he scored, and I did too. But the referee, Dan Marowelli, blew the whistle, and Bellows is furious. Now we got the faceoff is going to go to the oh, right as the referee is saying, and Brian Bellow saying that puck was in the net. So the goaltender reached beyond the line, even if it was in the air, he reached in behind the line and pulled it out. Now we'll see if we've got a camera angle. Maybe it can help us out here. I'll tell but you. Nonetheless, the referee has made the call. The light never did go on. The officials here are from Detroit. The flew in for the game uh, came in today, I believe it was, and now Pierre Paget upset as well as he wants to know what the call is. How many coach phantom double. goals can there be in this playoff Well, watch up. Dave Gagne scored a goal that he said was disallowed, and rightfully so, as Mills in watch that Bellows. barrel. We'll try and pick it up here. Well, it's tough to see from here. From that, that angle, it's tough for us to see. We have the same angle that you do. You see how far away we are and trying to determine that. But Brian Bellows is saying as is. He's still arguing the call with, he had with a the good referee. View. Now, watch Bellows on the right of your screen. 
Dalian comes back in front of the net here, and the puck is bouncing all over the place. You'll watch it right here as Bellows takes the shot. Right under the armpit, I think. Two, two of the North Stars signal the goal, and they're looking, everybody's looking at the referee right now. Very close. Watch between the legs of 24, Doug Wilson. Well, that's after the, that's after the fact. Well, inconclusive from that angle. The guy on TV thought it was in. It is still 4.15 to go in the major power play. Here's Zolf Dillian, somebody without a stick down there. That is Chicago's Troy Murray. Here comes Larry Murphy winding, shoots one, save, rebound, deep slot, knocked away to the corner board by Troy Murray, and Jocelyn Lemieux lugs it out. Nailed by DeLeon, 3.56 on the major power play. DeLeon checked, Bellows trying to pick it up, back for Larry Murphy inside the point. Murphy for Neil Brought. here's Murphy. Now Neil Brought. the drive, deflected away to the corner. Murphy is there again for Minnesota, watched by Troy Murray. Here's Bellows, he was open, couldn't get a shot. Neil Broughton shoots off the equipment of Troy Murray. Now Murphy, Donye comes sailing in and belts Troy Murray. Neil Broughton is there, checked by Lemieux. Here's a blast by Bellows and a high deflection by Millen. 3.19 to go in the power play as they pile it up down on the left corner board. Well, the North Star is starting to move the puck around a little bit more in this power play, getting some chances at least. And they've not, now had eight shots on net. Most of those have been on this man advantage they have as there's still 3.18 to go on the penalty to Van Dorp. But Greg Millen has been tested a little bit more in this period and has responded to those challenges as the North Stars have had now six shots on net to four by the Blackhawks in period number two. But the North Stars trail 3 nothing. Larry Murphy controlling the puck here, coming in a position back in the center ice area, trying to get that good angle, which he did. But Greg Millen able to, to be there to get that shot as two of the North, uh, Chicago defensemen standing right on the doorstep to clear out that path for Millen to make the save. And both the Stars close in, turned the wrong way because of that to try and deflect anything or do anything with Murphy's shot. Now Larmer brings the Hawks back out shorthanded. Larmer, Savard, Conroy, and Brown killing it off for the Hawks. North Star power play unit now, Madonna, Barber, Aaron Broughton, Wilkinson, and Chambers. 2.59 to go on the major power play. Aaron Broughton now for the North Stars. Pops it down to the corner. Madonna there, but Conroy knocks it away. 2.49 in the power play. Aaron Broughton and Savard dig it. Chopped in by Chambers. Behind the net, Millen will flipper it away right to Aaron Broughton who sweeps it for Barber. Brown checks him. Back to Barber. Into the corner now for Mike Madonna. 2.34 in the power play for Minnesota. Madonna now for Barber. They need a goal on this one. Here's Wilkinson at the point now for Minnesota. Winds up, fakes the shot, the drive, Madonna. And it'll be picked off the near boards by Savard. Couldn't get it out. Sean Chambers kept the puck alive at the point, but Savard knocked it away. Now Chambers for Minnesota. In his own zone up for Gagne, but off his blade. Back cut it up and batted out of the air by Neil Wilkinson. The Stars won't be able to play it. And Savard shorthanded comes back, two on one with Gilbert. Now Savard's blast right on, and a save by Casey with Gilbert flying and flailing in. Now a minute 56 remaining in the fighting major to Wayne Van Dorf. Uh, Denny Savard getting a lot more ice time in some of the games we've seen in the playoffs as he's killing the penalties, working the power play, playing his own shift. As he comes down on a two on one, Jameis the only man back. Gilbert going for the net, but look at Casey's got the puck, and Gilbert looking for a loose puck and then able to get away from the goaltender without crashing into him, just got the leg onto him momentarily. Well, the St. Louis Blues have now taken a 4-2 lead, lead over the Toronto Maple Leafs with Brett Hall getting two goals in that game. Party's here, over. Here's a nice little play by Savard right here as he's faked here, but watch how he stays down on top of the puck. Chambers not able to handle it enough to get away from Savard, who was able to knock the puck out of that dangerous territory. Brett Hall now with five goals in five games. Wow. For the Blues. What a playoff. And the Blues dominating in that series, no question about it. Boy, and so many of the favorites, though. Look at Edmonton. Look at Calgary. Now here's Bellows on the power play. Centering for Delia to the score. The Hawks actually knocked it right toward their own net. Troy Murray got it off his own blade. It'll go as a power play goal. And on the major penalty, the power play continues. The Stars are on the board, 3-1. to one. Well, if you remember the last game of the season here, it was also in that game that 
the Blackhawks put one in their own net, the only goal the North Stars scored in the final game of the regular season. Here's the play right here as Bellows comes in, makes a pass across, and he doesn't even get a chance to get it to anyone other than the defender coming back. And so the North Stars finally on the board as the puck is actually deflected into the net. I think it was that Gilbert coming back. I couldn't pick up the number on the far side, but Bellows, Bellows should get credit for the goal. Oh, that's Troy Murray coming back. He's Number the guy who 18. shot it in the that's net right. against <laughs> the North Stars on April Fool's <laughs> night. He's plus two for the North Stars. <laughs> Troy Murray fired it in again. It's a power play goal for the North Stars. We'll see who'll get it. The power play continues now. It's three to one, and they'll have to chase. Larry Murphy now back in his own zone for Minnesota. Give me the goal as soon as they announce who'll get it. Well, what are the odds? Troy Murray fires two into his own net. That wasn't as pretty as the one on April Fool's night, though. That was a beaut. Now Gilbert checked by Neil Broughton. The puck comes loose, flipped away by Casey Starr. Still on the power play for a minute three. Here's Ulf Dillian now at neutral. That's popped away. A loose puck. Now Mike Madonna. 55 seconds on the power play. Here's Madonna on the right wing boards waiting deep inside now. Dillian back for Madonna. Murphy Wood times a blast high. Dillian plays it on the end boards. Manson pops him right in the schnoz. Here's Neil Broughton. High slot. Murphy shooting. Hit the traffic, namely Brown. Presley comes back out again. Shorthanded. Two on one. Murphy cut that one off at the pass. Half a minute left in the major penalty to Wayne Van Dorp. Stars have one power play goal in this major power play already. Now Aaron Broughton for Minnesota at neutral. Here's Neil Wilkinson with 17 seconds left in the power play. Madonna now two on two with Barber. The long shot deflected off the stick of Millen. Creighton is there for Chicago. Barber in the corner, seven seconds left in the power play. Barazan for Basil McRae. Two seconds, one. The major penalty expires. Hawks at full strength. Chambers fires. Tipped by McRae. And Millen just got that one. Now Barazan behind the net. Here's Basil McRae. And Millen will freeze that one along the goal post. The Stars got one in. It's 3-1 the Hawks. I want to warn you. Up until 10 o'clock tonight. Charge by phone, 989-5151. Your stars and the Blackhawks will be there. Met Center, game six of the Norris Semis on Saturday night. You can go early. The parking lot opens at five. Won't cost you one penny to park at Met Center for the playoffs. What a night. What a mob. What a game it should be. All Met Center ticket locations tomorrow. Ticketmaster locations as well. 989-5151 to charge by phone. Well, Brian Bell is getting credit for that goal unassisted. At 9:24, that's his fourth goal of the playoffs, and that is tops for the North Stars in that depart department. 59th goal of the season for Brian Bellows, and his 24th power play goal. It's his third power play goal of the playoffs. But Troy Murray, it actually went in off Murray, and again Murray's the one who shot it in against the Stars April 1st. Basil McRae got credit for that power play goal. Here is Basil McRae squaring off for the draw against Jeremy Roney. McRae wins it. Teams at full strength with the 8.42 in the period. Shot just deflected by Millen. Falling. Farazan shot wide. Now Giles at the point. McRae really wrestling with McGill down in front of the net. The sticks are up. McRae trying to pull away and stay clear. But Miruelli says to heck with it and lets it go. And there again, you know, Basil would really like to cork him one. But he's not going to in this series. Here's a shot on to Casey, but no. Creighton locked up in the corner boards now with Perry Barazan. Almost a whistle. McRae goes after the puck as Barazan got decked off the side of the net by Adam Creighton, their penalty minute leader in the playoffs. Now they wrestle behind the North Stars net. Casey just got a little piece of it, and it's pulled clear now by Chambers. Stars come back. McRae hauled to the deck by McGill. Got to be a penalty sooner or later. Here's Chambers down the right wing boards. Play goes on. And finally, they'll freeze it up there. Uh, McRae coming back was trying to draw a penalty. That's what he was trying to do down in front of the Chicago net. It was get a penalty to McGill. Uh, the referee, Dan Morales, says, I'll have no part of it. And he's telling the players right now to settle down or I will start calling some penalties. And he's talking to Pierre Paget. And now Marouelli is skating over towards the North Star benches. There's some talking going on on the far side with Yanni over there, Tenorti over there, and the referee skating over there as well and watching the North Star bench and saying, let's go, guys. 
or there will be some penalties being called. That goal by the North Stars have brought them back into this hockey yes. game. Uh, they've been outshot 20 to 12 now in the game, but they trail by two goals with a score of three to one and 7.46 to go in the second period. A look now once again in front of that Chicago net. Watch Mc, uh, McGill and McRae right here as they're battling, trying to obtain that little bit of turf area back in front of the net. And you can see the shoving that's going on. Both players doing a good job of that. And, and neither one giving up things, trying to give up that area. At the same time, time McRae has got to stand his ground there and try to create some havoc in front of that Chicago netminder. Everybody else looks like they've grown beards for the playoffs. I'm not sure about Basil. He's got a pretty thick yes, one does. anyway. Yeah, yeah I, I know he has. He does. Always, always looks like that. Don't think it takes a lot for him to grow a pretty good one. Gagne playing with a lot of intensity. Would like to get a goal here as he squares for the draw against Dennis Savard. Wins the draw. Barber turning on the boards. Checked by Yanni. This was Don Barber. 7.39 to go in the second. 3-1 Blackhawks now after the North Star power play goal. Here's Barber for Bellows. Broken up. Goulet got a piece of it on his skate. Now Wilkinson in center circle for the North Stars. Waited for Gagne to get back on side. Goulet chops it back out. Here's Tenorti back in his own zone for Minnesota. Now Dave Gagne coming out to neutral. High puck dropping to the glove of Millen. Serve it away to Yanni. Up the boards. Kept in by Wilkinson. He shoots. Hits Savard. Right back to Neil Wilkinson. Runs it in. Deflected by Goulet. Barber on the end boards now for the North Stars. Right in front they go. Now Tenorti shoots one and it just kissed the goal post. Here is Bellows for Minnesota. Banged into by Savard. Barber there. One hand and dished it off. Tenorti fires through the lip of the goal crease. Now here's Wilkinson. Checked by Goulet. Sticks up. A lot of cross-checking here. Here's Bellows for Minnesota. Centering. Picked off by Larmer. And he'll get it out of the zone. Stars look like they're on the power play there, though they weren't. They are picking the pace up here a little bit. They're controlling the puck more than they were in that first period. And as a result, getting some chances. But now here comes Savard. Two on one with Larmer, who just missed the mark. And Wilkinson goes down hard behind the play, and they'll have to blow the whistle. Neil Wilkinson is down and hurt behind the North Stars net. They'll go to the bench for the trainer, and with 6.22 to go in the second, it's the Blackhawks three and the North Stars one. Cotton won the draw to Lee and pushes over the line, but here is Steve Conroy for Chicago. They come back out, Jeremy Roenick with Thomas, and the Hawks are offside with 6.12 left in the second period. 3-1, Chicago leading. In game five of the series, we're all locked up at two apiece. Jeremy Roenick got the first goal of this game, a five-on-three power play goal for the Hawks at 10-17 of the first period. Yeah, we told you not dressed for Chicago tonight. Bob Murray, Al Secord, Dirk Graham, who has a broken kneecap, Mike Hudson, and Jacques Cloutier, the injured goaltender. And, of course, Dwayne Sutter was sent out of this hockey game back at 2.54 of the first period on a high-sticking penalty, plus a game misconduct. Not dressed for the North Stars, Franisek Musil, who's back in the... Twin Cities with that shoulder injury. Dave Mackey is here, not dressed, along with Rob Zettler, who was called up, and Helmut Balderas. Those are also scratches for Minnesota. Second intermission tonight. It'll be Channel 9 primetime news with Rod Grams and Maureen Reeder. The puck pulled out of the North Stars zone, and here's Aaron Broughton crossing with DeLeon. Neil Broughton on the left wing, centering for DeLeon. Couldn't get in past Doug Wilson. They go to the corner. Here is Neil Broughton for the North Stars. Up for DeLeon. Right circle shooting. Saved by Millen. Rebound to Neil Broughton, though. Broughton off to the right corner, checked by Wilson. Here's Aaron Brock on the circle, pulling away from Michel Goulet. Goulet all over him, but Aaron keeps the puck. Here's Altillian. Great little deke and a drive save on the glove hand by Millen. Nice little move by Altillian in traffic. North is doing a much better job of controlling the puck, and even in this last sequence where Broughton had the puck in the corner, trying to control him, finally able to get the puck over to Dillian, who made the good play. He saw Savard turn away from him. Dillian going there, looking for that far corner, but Greg Millen out just out of the point of the crease area was able to come up with that big glove save and keep the score at 3-1 to one for Chicago with 5.29 to go now in period number two. Great little head deke on Savard as Dillian wound up with all kinds of wide open space around him to fire the shot down on to Millen and Ulf Dillian in in the Mike Gartner trade for the New York Rangers and He'll be the first to tell you, you know, he says, I'm not Mike Gardner. I'm a completely different hockey player. I contribute in a completely different way. And he contributes a lot. Now here's Duchesne behind the net. Ian Brown go to the corner. 
They lock it up. Gavin is in to help. What a difference the goal makes. The star is right in the hockey game now. Here's Gavin. They trail 3-1 to one with 5.15 to go in the second. Steve Thomas banks it ahead. Jeremy Roenick will pick it up in the circle. Checked by Chambers, and Duchesne will pick it up. Out at neutral now, Dave Manson for the Hawks. Rink wide for Keith Brown. And Brown will whip it in. Sticked away by Casey. Troy Murray there with Chambers on him. Behind the net now, Kurt Giles. The puck in the North Star zone. And it's played out by Chambers. Too far for Gavin. There's no icing and play goes on. Gavin sends Manson to the deck. They all pile it up back there. Manson lost his helmet. Troy Murray back out for Chicago with Thomas. Here's Murray. Blocked by Duchesne. A shot by Thomas wide. Now on the inboards, gets on Duchesne for the North Stars with Larry Murphy. A long floater out to neutral. McGill pulls it back. 4.22 to go in the second. Hawks three, the Stars one. With Tom Reed, Doug McLeod at Chicago Stadium. Gilbert locks up with Murphy and kicks it away, but there's Mike Madonna for the North Stars. Adam Creighton now for Chicago. Fluttering puck picked up by Bellows for Murphy back in his own zone. Gilbert closing in. Murphy ahead to Madonna across two lines, and that will stop the play. With four minutes to go in the second period, Chicago three and the North Stars one. Well, the North Stars have had... 15 shots in this period. The Blackhawks have had just seven, so the North Stars have picked up the pace. Now the puck behind the North Stars zone. Gilbert, here's Jocelyn Lemieux. They pull it away on the inboards. Adam Creighton there. Gagne grinding away on him. Now Creighton. Nowhere to go with it, but he still hangs on to the puck. He goes to the right corner now. Creighton muscles it to the side of the net, but it flipped away. Wilkinson now. Bellows gets it out of the zone. Now Steve Conroy for Chicago plays it back in. Casey behind the net. Steve Thomas was saying in the paper today, one thing we got to do for the Hawks, keep the puck away from Casey on dump ins because nobody plays it better behind the net. That's what he said in the Chicago paper today. Now Savar crossing the line at the point. Smacks down on the collision with Wilkinson. We've got about a 6.8, and out comes Wilkinson. Batted down by Goulet. Now, here's Bellows from Minnesota. Booms one on to Millen. And with Barber coming right into the front door, Millen will hang on. 2.55 to go in the second period. Blackhawks three. And the North Stars one in game five of the series. Game six right back at Met Center on Saturday night. Still about uh, 35 minutes or so. Ticketmaster open until 10 o'clock tonight. You can charge by phone at area 612-989-5151. Tickets at all Ticketmaster locations and at the Met Center ticket office. So get there early. The parking lot opens at 5 o'clock. Free parking for the playoffs. And the Stars and the Blackhawks going. We're getting ticket updates most of the day, and they were going very, very briskly. So do not wait until game day, as we cautioned you before. And aren't you glad I did last time? Because they were jammed on Sunday night. Now 2.55 to go in the second, 3-1 Hawks. Nice little check right there as Bellows came together with Goulet and knocked him down. You got to take the man. Of course, both teams trying to take the, get the physical edge here as Thomas now just ran into Giles but put himself offside on the play. They'll exchange a couple of pleasantries. And Kurt Giles playing in his 83rd career playoff game, his 78th as the North Star. That is the most on the team coming in. Some of the guys have been on the club for a while. Neil Brott, Larry Murphy's been in many career playoff games, of course, and several others. But Kurt Giles, grand old man of the playoffs anyway. 2.41 left in the second. It's 3-1 the Blackhawks lead. Stars have the most recent goal in a power play. Now at neutral. Doug Wilson of the Hawks. They turn it back. Aaron Brott for the North Stars. Aaron, Neil, and Ulf DeLea in the North Star forward line. Here is Siren. And now Presley will block it up down there. And they'll face it off in the Blackhawks zone with 2.21 to go in the second period of play. A very close checking right now. Neither team really. The North Stars, Ronick, Thomas, and Presley, McGill, and Manson for the Blackhawks. Presley and McCray scratch a little bit early. And now the referee, Dan Marawelli, is going to come in and explain this situation. And he's telling McCray, you do it again, I'll call you for delay of game. So he's going to. Polish position. The two 17s, McCray and Presley. 
Draw was won by Berezan, but it sails all the way back to the North Star zone. Berezan's done a good job tonight yes. winning those face-offs, and they've used him in those positions, a, a, a position he's not normally used to, but he's done a, a good job of controlling the puck. Just by my unofficial reckoning, four of his last four, including two, and the team was shorthanded. Here's Shane Sherla in the North Star zone. Berezan out of neutral with under two minutes to go in the second period. McGill and Sherla go to the corner boards. Here is Steve Thomas now for Chicago. The Hawks come out. This is Dave Manson for Jeremy Roenick. Back for Presley. The drive blocked by Chambers. Presley trying to get in again, but no. Thomas backhander went completely wide. Then behind the net it goes. Casey there to flip it away. Roenick in hot pursuit. Cut off by Berezan, who hit the linesman coming out. Ray Scapanello. Here is Sean Chambers in the neutral zone for Minnesota. Checked and decked by Presley. Buck loose and Giles fires it high. Batted down by Barber. He thought he was going to get called offside, I think, but it didn't. It was clearly an offside play, but the whistle didn't blow. Here's Presley. Now Creighton breaking in. Presley's speed is broken up by Chambers. 107 left in the second period. 3-1 Blackhawks. Chambers back in his own zone. Now Gagne for Minnesota. Barber bumped off it by Steve Conroy. Here comes Keith Brown for Chicago. Now on the left side, a deke and a shot. Screen save by Casey. That one came in on a little change in direction. And Casey made the stop with 50 seconds left in the second period. Well, the Blackhawks coming back in a 4-2 and two situation. And the shot trying to feather it through. Well, right under the pad of John Casey, who was able to hold on to it. You can see that as the play unfolds right here, you go for the net after you've given it up. And that's exactly what Lemieux did. Got in front of the goaltender. John Casey, but Casey was able to block it down as he went down in the position right in front of that shot as Lemieux went around the player and Gilbert taking the shot. Not a hard shot, but it was a shot nonetheless. It was in a position where it could have been deflected or a possible rebound, but John Casey able to grab onto it to bring the face off to his right. John Casey has looked at 22 shots from the Blackhawks in this game. Three of them are in so far. It is 3-1 to one Chicago. Now 50 seconds remaining in the second period where the North Stars have outshot the Blackhawks 15 to 6. Here's a big drive by Conroy and a save by Casey. 45 seconds in the period. Adam Creighton on the left boards with Bellows on it. Now Gilbert turning. Buck loose. Gilbert got a little backhander but he had a great big tree named Mark Tenorti standing in front of him. Best you could do is just kind of toss it away. Here comes Mark Tenorti playing injured. Checked by Creighton. Tenorti goes down. Conroy is there. Checked on the corner by Barber. Puck comes out to center. Mike Madonna in his own zone. Flings it out to the neutral zone. 19 seconds left of the period. Bellows for the streaking Madonna. Poked away by Brown. Michelle Goulet for the Chicago Blackhawks. Back and forth now to Goulet. He might get open. Goulet with Wilkinson cutting and shoots. A save by Casey. Rebound fired right to Casey. The puck loose in front of the net. Save by Casey as time runs out in the period. Oh, man. I want to have another look at that one because Casey was getting it all as time expired in the second period. Watch the play and the clock. I'll tell you, look, with just 11 seconds to go, Goulet broke out on the far side as he took this pass. There was no one back. Wilkinson trying to come in the center of your screen as you'll see him come in there. And look at the angle. Good shooting angle as Goulet took the shot. The play kept going, but look where the position of the puck is right now. And coming back was Mark Tenori. Did he hit yes, Casey with yes, the puck? Did. Yes, he did. And so he, he's trying to clear in the far corner, hit Casey, and as a result, the puck was kept out of the net, but the North Stars almost gave up another one towards the end of the period. But it's wow. still Chicago 3 and the I'll North Stars you. 1. I'll tell you. Murray at 924 of the second it was credited to Brian Bellows the nearest North Star to it a five a minute power play in effect at the time it is 3-1 the Hawks Gagne Barber and Bellows the new line combination put together by Pierre Paget for Tuesday night's game which turned out to be a 4-0 North Stars romp starting the second period as Bellows and, or as the Giles and Lemieux go to it deeply now here is Bellows for the North Stars Giles and Chambers, the starting defenseman here in the third period. Behind the North Stars net, Casey plays it away for Kurt Giles. 
Snapping it off the boards. Barber out to center. Here's Brian Bellas with Gagne. Dave Gagne cutting in. Bell and shoots the save by Millen. And the rebound comes out to Troy Murray. Here's Jocelyn Lemieux of the, of the uh, Blackhawks, and they play it back down. Now Casey serves it up for Mark Tenorti, swinging behind the net. Hopped off the blade. Wilson guns it back in for Chicago, and Casey puts the brakes on it. Showed it to Larmer, backed it away, but there's the puck in front, and a quick shot by Savard would go. Larmer centers. Gilbert off balance. Now Barber out to neutral. Yanni turns. Here's Goulet, and he floats it into the North Star zone. Neil Wilkinson for Minnesota. It is 3-1 Chicago. Just past a minute into the third period of play at Chicago Stadium. Into the Blackhawks zone. Neil brought behind it at Dillian, stuffed at a save by Millen, right to Dillian, shot save. As it actually hit part of Aaron Broughton and part of Millen, who now has no stick. Savard blocked that one. The Hawks try to get it out of the zone and do, and Millen gets a chance to go back and pick up his hardware as icing is called on Chicago. Well, the North Stars coming out having some good opportunities. Gagne had a, a good chance earlier as he broke in the goal there, but he was slashed pretty heavily by Lemieux as uh, Lemieux was coming back in. But the North Stars also had another chance on the wraparound play right here. Neil Broughton had the puck. He played it off the back for us, but watch right here. You see uh, Dillian coming back in, trying to put stuff it away. And here's the chance I talked about a few moments ago about Gagne to break in here. But watch for the slash by Lemieux. There should oh. have been a penalty call on there. There was not. But Greg Millen coming up with a couple of big saves early on in this period. Now a minute 31 gone in the third. Hawks leading 3 to 1. That line of Gagne, Bellows, and Barber knocking on the door. Now Madonna, Duchesne, and Gavin with Murphy and Siren for the North Stars. Stars win the draw. Siren lets one go. It sizzles wide. Murphy shoots on the fly, and it's high and wide. Here's Madonna in the left corner now for the North Stars. Fort Gavin, the shot blocked by Manson as it came right off his blade. And the Stars will chase it. It seems, Doug, that whoever controls the physical play early on the period controls that period. And, and the North Stars are trying to come out and establish themselves a little bit more so in this period. Oh, Casey got it right on the blade of Presley, but he could not shoot. Now here's Mike Madonna for Minnesota. Two minutes gone in the third. 3-1 the Hawks at center. McGill turns it back for the Blackhawks. Billy Siren is there, plays it behind the net. Back on again. Siren dressing for the first time in this playoff series. Now out for Larry Murphy of the North Stars, and it'll be offside as Manson just tapped it back off the blade of Murphy and offside. 17.42 to go in the third. It's the Hawks three and the North Stars one. Trying to close the gap. They trail by two. Gagne, Barber, and Bellows right back out again for the North Stars. Here is Chambers to send it into the Chicago zone. Here is Brown in the corner for Chicago. Poked out by Lemieux. Mark Tenorti for Minnesota. Floats it back for Neil Wilkinson. Checked by Gilbert. Conroy will fling it in for Chicago. Jocelyn Lemieux is there centering, but right on the blade of Dave Gagne, but that hit Troy Murray. Now Neil Wilkinson comes out of the zone. Conroy pumps it back for Chicago. Gilbert for Jocelyn Lemieux. The drive and a sweeping glove stop by John Casey. It looked like that shot was actually going a bit wide of the net as he came in from the side. They have given credit as a shot on net, but I think if you... If you watch it coming in here, Lemieux coming from that, who's in the far wing, was able to get back in the position here. He comes in, and here's the angle button. Casey coming out to block it down. We had to reach out. It looked like it was out to the side of the net. As you look at it from a second angle once again. Yeah, yeah that would have been yeah, wide. Pretty but clearly. Casey, Casey not quite sure, and so very smartly was able to grab onto the puck and get the stoppage with 17-11 to go in period number three. John Casey's high school coach from Grand Rapids was at the game the other night at Met Center and uh, he said, you know, last time he was at a game and I knew he was there, I got a shutout too. So he was hoping that he'd be able to do that again and he did. Jim Nelson from the Grand Rapids Indians. Calgary now is taking a 2-0 lead over Los Angeles at the game in the Saddle Dome. Yeah, put him in the travel budget. Now Goulet wrestling for the draw. Neil Broughton got a piece of it, but the Hawks keep it alive. Goulet flings it behind the net. Casey whacks it away. Aaron Broughton out to neutralize, and Larmer will pick it up there for Chicago. Ahead for Michelle Goulet in the neutral zone. Belted by Neil Broughton. Wilkinson shovels it out. Larmer right back in. Wilkinson right back out. Stars will dump it in. Millen out behind the net. Dillian closing in on it. The puck loose behind. Millen, who did not see it, now Larmer will pick it up. 
Out comes Dennis Savard for Chicago. Shooting right on the deck level drive. Stopped by Casey. Now Giles for Minnesota. Carries the puck out. Neil Broughton on his derriere behind the plate. Giles shoots and hit the goalpost. Giles with one goal all year, and that came late. Manson carries it back down. Casey throws the puck on the near boards. DeLeon flings it out to neutral. 16-12 to go in the third. Hawks three and the North Stars one. Steve Thomas for Chicago. Now out for Jeremy Roenick. who got the opening goal of the game on a power play. Roenick popped by Murray. Plays the puck with them falls. Presley got it behind the net for Thomas. He couldn't get hold of it as Casey went fishing. Bellows tried to clear. Roenick off balance. Picks up the puck. Backhands it in. Now here's Bellows for Minnesota. Brian Bellows in the neutral zone. Floating over the line. Tops it left. Madonna shoot right through the goal crease. Gavin now to the corner away from Bellows. Madonna after it with McGill. Bellows will have to turn behind the net, but Dave Manson is there for Chicago as Gavin got drilled in front of the net. Now Manson comes back out for the Blackhawks, three on two. McGill with a deep, goes to the corner. Siren is on him, McGill behind the net now for Chicago. Try to turn it in, but no, and it comes to neutral. Conroy pumps it back in for the Hawks. Casey a little trouble with it as it sailed away, and the end board is very lively here, as we know well. McCray, stick handling for the Stars, ripped to the glass by Keith Brown. Here is Conroy for Chicago. Stars closing in, but he now got it away to neutral. Adam Creighton for Chicago over the line. Stick drives it, fires it high and wide. Now McCray for the Stars. Slowly out to neutral, Berezan. Here's Mark Tenorti to lead the charge back down. Tenorti smacked into Conroy and bowled him over. They pile it up in the right corner board, flipped high, and it caroms off the glass. Back into the North Star zone. Should be icing on Chicago. And it will be with 14.34 to go in the third. It's the Blackhawks three and the North Stars one. Doug McLeod at Chicago Stadium as the Stars now mixing up a little bit. We'll have Gagne, Barber, and Duchesne out as a line with Giles and Chambers on defense. The Hawk bench with a two-goal lead in the third in their own building, feeling, I imagine, reasonably confident. The Stars can hope they might try to sit on it. Here's a good play by Keith Brown. He just takes the man. Basil McRae trying to come in with the puck, and the defenseman's job, take the man, let the let your teammate worry about the puck, and Chicago doing a good job on both sides here. As you can see Conroy taking on Aaron Broughton at the same time, and, and that's when, when that job is done by the defenseman, that allows your other teammate to come back in to pick up that puck and then take it out of the dangerous territory. Face off in the Chicago zone. Gagne swept it away, but there is Larmer. Hawks come back. Steve Larmer floats one down and on to John Casey. Played it back and hit a crowd. Now Giles for Minnesota. Kurt Giles snapped it away from Barber to center. Wilson threw it back in and hit his own man. Larmer, now that was offside. Nobody called it. Clearly an offside play. Larmer taken down. Gagne, now here's Giles for Minnesota behind the net. Chambers comes back out of the zone for Minnesota. Three on three. Fires one. Deflected by Millen. Now Barber centering. Gagne there. Shoots the backhander. No. His own rebound. No. And Duchesne pulls Millen over. The puck is under a pile of bodies behind the net. And the whistle will be blown by referee Dan Marowelli. Uh, Greg Millen hounding the referee right now. Duchesne was coming back in front of the net. And there was just a pile of bodies. And he had to go someplace. He went right over top of the Chicago netminder who was complaining to the official. No penalty on the play. But... Gagne not very happy as well as the North Stars getting a good scoring opportunity. You know, watch the play right here as Gagne goes on the back end. Look at Duchesne coming from the inside, looking to see if there's going to be a loose puck, and he just takes the goaltender out of the play. If you can get away with it, you do it. A lot of times they'll call, they won't call those, I should say. They'll just let those things happen. And you see the puck just going in behind the goal line of Chicago. Now the faceoff will be to the left of Greg Millen with 13-15 to go, and the North Stars trailing by a score of three to one. So they continue to mix it up here. The Stars going to the net as Gagne was in the thick of things and Duchesne just trying to bust in there to get an opportunity. Murphy flipped it to try to keep it alive, but it's pulled back by Jeremy Roenick of Chicago. Here's Roenick down the left boards, wheeling behind the net for the Hawks. Steve Thomas in the corner. Right of center, tipped away by Siren. 
Now on the end boards, Aaron Broughton rides Presley off it, right in front of the net. Thomas couldn't get it in as Murphy jumps in. Now Siren for the Stars. Neil Broughton floats it back out, and Manson will pick it up. That's sent deep to the Stars zone. Larry Murphy is there. Murphy and Neil Broughton back. Now Ulf DeLeon. Back out for Manson. Murphy for Minnesota. Pops it down into the Chicago zone. 12.57 to go. It's 3-1 Blackhawks. Dave Manson with a puck in his own zone. Coming out to neutralize. Stacked up at the North Star line. Now Gavin and Bellows bring it back. Brian Bellows cutting in. Feeds Wilkinson. Going deep centering, but no. Dardinardi will pick it off the wing boards and fire. That hit the equipment of the Hawks player. Goes behind the net now. Bellows for Minnesota. Here is Gavin Bellows leveled by Gilbert. And the Hawks come out. Jocelyn Lemieux for the Black Hawks at center. Mark Tenorti will pick it up back in his own zone. Our stars coming back. Tenorti slides it too far for Wilkinson. Doug Wilson will fire it back in. Now Gaetan Duchesne away from Goulet. Tenorti lugs the puck out to center for Minnesota. Snaps it into the Hawks zone. Duchesne cruising after it. Picked the pocket of Millen. Duchesne in the corner, but Wilson wrapped him up. Larmer tried to clear Duchesne there. Now here's Don Barber for Minnesota. Went to center, and that was pulled away from him. And off the skate by Dennis Savard. Now Savard, three on three. Bangs one down on a line drive on to Casey. Hawks changing behind the play as the Stars come out. Barber. For Duchesne, a little poke by Wilson right at the wrong side of the line will stop the play. Stars broke it out from the wrong side. With Tom Reed, Doug McLeod, it's the Norris Division semifinals, game five at Chicago Stadium. And the North Stars ice the puck with 11.24 to go in the third, trailing 3-1. to one. Now Neil Broughton is sent down. He was sent right down, that's exactly right, and... Manson just leveled him, and there's no call on the play. And now Pierre Paget a little upset with the referee. Like, what's going on here? Is that legal? That was well after the play as they came together. I don't understand this. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. I, I was look away momentarily. You can see right here as the players come in behind the net. I can see the play right here as they skate away. And there's the. Just hook the arm and pull him down. Nice casual movement by Dave Manson. What does it take? Now from the faceoff, here is Siren for Minnesota. Fencing with Presley in the corner. Presley down. DeLeon snaps the puck out. Here comes Neil Broughton, two on one with Aaron. Here's Neil on the right side, centered, blocked as it came off his stick by Bob McGill. Good play by McGill as he yes. went down. A two on one situation, you've got to spread out. And Bob McGill, who didn't dress last game, was able to do that. Coming in there, good defensive play at the part of the Chicago veteran defenseman. Neil was looking at the far side of Aaron, but couldn't get the puck over to him. McGill going down, then just finally got down. Also, the position of his stick also nice and flat on the ice, so that if the puck is a, a, a beyond his reach where he can grab it with his glove, that at least his stick would also knock that puck down as well. 11.09 to go in the third. Blackhawks three and the North Stars one. Neil and Aaron Broughton, wouldn't that have been a pretty combination? Situation where both team, both sides, excuse me, played it well. But the defenseman wins when that happens. Here's Murphy. They dig for it. Neil Broughton trying to pull it away. And finally Savard will dig it free. Here's Yanni at neutralize. Yanni down the right boards against Billy Siren, who digs it free. Aaron brought for the Stars, boarded it out. Neil tapped it. Here's Larry Murphy driving over the line, waiting, firing one, a soft shot that goes right on to Greg Millen, who will love it down and hang on. Stars narrowing the shots on goal margin, now 28 at the hockey game. Now from the draw, Basil McCray on the end boards for Minnesota. Wheels one in off the side of the net. They pile it up down there, and I have no idea where the puck wound up. Puck is still at the corner of the net. It's right down on the ice at the uh, the post as Brian Bellows is trying to get back in position, and Brown right in on top of him as well as the North Stars control, getting the face off here, controlling. You'll see Basil McCray come into this picture here. 
He comes in behind them. Now watch the action in front. The puck is actually right to the corner. And finally, the whistle goes as Brown runs Bellows into the side of the net to try to get the stoppage of play as well. But the puck was right in the corners. Basil made a good play here, trying to come back in front as he was being hooked at the same time. Boy, that's one that could just get a little seeing eye to it, wind up in the back of the net with a little bit of luck. And a little bit of luck would go a long way for the North Stars right now. 10.35 to go in the third. Blackhawks three. And the North Stars one. From the draw. Dellos with a little poke kept it alive. Behind the net, Mike Madonna. He's checked by Ronick. The two rookies working on each other. Now played by Brown to himself, so it's all right. They go to the corner, and Conroy will gun it away. Here's a race for it. Tenorti had to pick it up short of the end line, or he might have lost the puck to Larmer. So there's no icing. Wilkinson for Minnesota. The back checker, Brown, swept it away. Gilbert taps it to center. Bellows there for the North Stars. McRae picks it up. Now here's Conroy to ride it in. Wayne Presley for Chicago, checked by Madonna as he fired. Tenorti in there, too. Point blank backhander by Crate. And a save by Casey. And now McRae with a few words to Adam Creighton. Well, Creighton's got that long, tall, slinky body of his. He's got that reach at six foot five, and he had a good scoring opportunity to the right of goaltender John Casey. Here's the play starting over on the far side as Tenorti was taking a run at Presley. But there's Creighton coming in the backhand, and you can see him as he's able to get the shot, but Casey able to hold on to that puck and get the stoppage of play. 9.54 to go now in period number three. Blackhawks lead 3-1. 29 shots by the Blackhawks and 25 by the North Stars. Interesting comparison to the Tuesday game, which the Stars won 4-0. In this game, the Hawks outshot the Stars in the first period 14-2. In that game, the Stars outshot the Hawks in the first period 17-4. That one wound up not close. This one is 3-1 to one with 9.54 to go. If the next goal is the North Stars, then we've got a race. Here's Duchesne. Now Gagne at center for Minnesota. Over the line. Manson broke it up. McGill there trying to clear. Larry Murphy will keep it alive at the point. Board pass for Duchesne. Get Tom Duchesne in the corner, bumping with Manson. Gagne is in there. Barber staples Thomas to the glass. Gagne trying to pry it free. It's still alive down there. Buck just popped out and is now just sitting there. And finally escape will squeeze it up against the Dasher. 9.25 in the third. And here the capacity of the building for just seating is 17,317. They'll do that and better with standing room here tonight. From the draw in the, north of the Chicago zone, it is Yawney for the Blackhawks. Billy Searin. Now here is Don Barber at center over the line, but Gagne lifted that right foot as he went in over, and the play was offside. Now in the corner, Yanni and Duchesne are bumping down there. Now Yanni, a big kid, six foot three, 183 pound, uh, pounds out of Hudson Bay, Saskatchewan. And a look at Eitan Duchesne as well as he was coming in over the blue line, but the outside call made against the North Stars took away a good scoring opportunity. Yanni was the third round draft choice back in 1984 by the Blackhawks, 48 overall, was the captain of the Canadian Olympic team back in 1988. A little shoving back and forth. Winnipeg, er, Winnipeg now is taking a three to one lead wow. over Edmonton in the second period at Edmonton. So how about Edmonton and Calgary in the playoffs? Oilers could be out. Three hat tricks by Los Angeles the other night in that game against the Calgary Flames. Both the Flames and the Oilers on the verge of elimination. And Winnipeg. And oh man. Those constant rumors about Winnipeg moving may have been squelched for a while. Delia pass is blocked by Wilson. The puck comes back into the North Star zone. Casey serves it up for Sean Chambers. 8.41 to go in the third. Blackhawks three, North Stars one. Aaron Broughton at center, checked by Ronick. Over the line, Wayne Presley lets one go, and that'll sail up high for a playoff souvenir for somebody. Caught her right in the pro bosses. Now that puck was deflected as Aaron Broughton was trying to control the puck. They tried to make a pass across, but Chicago defender coming in there, able to grab on the puck, took the shot, but it was deflected about eight feet inside the Chicago 
They're inside the North Star blue line, so that's where the faceoff will take place as Presley took that shot. Actually, two fans got dinged by it. I saw a woman who got hit by it in the nose, but it hit the guy in front of her and bounced up to hit her. Two for one. 8.33 to go in the third period. It's the Hawks three. North Stars won game six, Met Center, Saturday night. A few tickets still available tomorrow, so get into Ticketmaster locations. They're charged by phone, 989-5151. Met Center ticket office will be open all day, of course. Walk into the Chicago zone. Here's Millen behind the net. Lemieux popped it back out to Nordy. Into his own zone, paired with Wilkinson, goes right in front of the net, poked by Casey. Bellows gets it out. They wave off icing here as Brown will pick it up, smacked by Gavin. Conroy in the Chicago zone. That hurt Brown, that check. Gavin really drilled him on the end glass. And Brown is hobbling over to the bench. Now Gilbert for Chicago. Wilkinson peels it away behind his net. Here comes Brian Bellows for Minnesota. Stars trail three to one. Nobody near. Larmer will pop it back out again. And here's Greg Gilbert. Basil McRae had it in his skates and lost it. Now Larmer cuts in centers for Savard, who was taken off by Wilkinson. Stars come right back out. Madonna up for Basil McRae. Driving down the left side. McRae turns. Savard will drill the puck away. And the Stars will have to chase it back in their zone again. Here is Giles. Now McRae comes out for Minnesota. McRae, Sherlin, Berezan. Chambers boards it ahead. Sherlin picked it up, but they were offside coming in. Now the clock running down, 7.08 to go in the third. It's Chicago, 3-1. to one. By the Hawks, 25 by the Stars. From the draw, Mark Tenorti for the North Stars. This skims down to the corner. Yanni drills it away. And it was deflected coming back to the Stars zone, so there's no icing, and play goes on. Casey for Larry Murphy. Thomas turns it back, though. Here's Ronick centering. Bobble knocked away off the blocker by Casey. He got it out of the net. And Barber starts the Stars back now. Broughton over the line. Barber there, cutting right in. Barber centers behind Larry Murphy. Now the Hawks come clear, and it's fired out of play. And a big face-off coming in the Chicago zone. Oh, what a save by John Casey oh, back yeah. in his own zone. And I'll tell you, he was he had to follow that puck. And you talk about concentration on the puck. Watch the pass coming up front here, right over on top. Oh. And it was going to go into the net, but he got the blockers you mentioned, Doug. Got it up high enough as Chicago coming close, but couldn't follow through. Presley coming in there, almost has put it away, but unable to do so as John Casey had that opportunity to, to follow it and got it with that big blocker here's a knock it away from the net but the North Stars came right back with their own chance at the other end as well but John Casey has had a strong game here he's given up three goals but he was te tested many times in that first period when the Blackhawks certainly had the edge out shooting the North Stars 14 to 2 now 636 to go in the third Hawks three the North Stars one amazingly not an overtime yet in this playoff series and it was almost a done deal for these two teams and in the playoffs. Last year, of course, the Stars frustrated early in their playoff round against St. Louis, losing two games at St. Louis, both of them in overtime. Now they dig in the corner boards. Tulian is down there for Minnesota. Brown really wrapped up Gagne. Now Conroy has it for Chicago. Plays it to the line. Kept in by Tenorti, but now taken out by Gilbert. Troy Murray down the right wing, taken down by Larry Murphy. They smack on the end boards in the North Star zone. Ulf DeLeon will pick it up for Minnesota. Gagne trying to get control. Conroy wraps him up. Keith Brown smacks it back down, and Gilbert will fire it back in. Here is Mark Tenorti for Minnesota. Under six minutes to go in the third. DeLeon checked. Madonna checked by Larmer. Now Wilson for Michelle Goulet. Goulet cutting the left side centering. Nothing there, and Bellows turns it back out for Minnesota. Savard will pick that off at neutral. Here's Wilson. Back for Dennis Savard. Goulet for Chicago, shoots one. Whoa, and that went clear to the top deck before somebody grabbed it and couldn't hang on, and it dropped down. That's the highest I've ever seen going this building. That went up into the second deck, and 
Someone tried to grab it there. They knocked it down to the first deck, and somebody missed it there and went right down into the ice level crowd as you have a look at the Chicago Stadium. Now, what you're seeing at the top of your picture is the lower part of the upper deck here. It goes way back up into a dark corner up there where I can't imagine you really even see the game, but I'm sure it's quite pleasant. <laughs> Somebody up there nearly had a souvenir. Now, you don't normally get them up there. If you get a souvenir, it's usually from the pigeons up there. You've got that right. <laughs> <laughs> or low-flying aircraft. 5.31 to go in the third. Hawks three, North Stars one. Face off in the Stars zone. Neal brought for the draw for Minnesota. Picks up the puck. Ahead for Aaron Brock. The Broughton brothers and Barber. Sabar turned it back now for Chicago. Here's Michelle Goulet, two on one with Larmer. Chambers back center. Larmer shoots and a save by Casey. John Casey with another big save. Slamming down a two on one break by Chicago. I'll tell you, John Casey has been superb when he's had to be. And once again, Goulet made a great play here. Goulet's been in the doghouse here, but he makes a great play as Larmer breaks in. He puts it right by the defenseman. You can see Larmer breaking for it, but look at the pads say that Casey's able to make, sticking that right uh, skate of his out there and able to control that puck. And the Blackhawks trying to put this game away, but John Casey has got other thoughts. With 5.15 to go, and the Blackhawks leading by two. John Casey, the pad was over, the skate was over, the stick was over. Here's a save off the blocker by Casey again. Batted down by our zone. Ulf DeLeon will pick it up for Minnesota. Gagne trying to get control. Conroy wraps him up. Keith Brown smacks it back down. And Gilbert will fire it back in. Here is Mark Tenorti for Minnesota. Under six minutes to go in the third. DeLeon checked. Madonna checked by Larmer. Now Wilson for Michelle Goulet. Goulet cutting the left side centering. Nothing there, and Bellows turns it back out for Minnesota. Savard will pick that off at neutral. Here's Wilson. Back for Dennis Savard. Goulet for Chicago. Shoots one. Whoa, and that went clear to the top deck before somebody grabbed it and <laughs> couldn't hang on, and it dropped down. That's the highest I've ever seen go in this building. That went up into the second deck, and someone tried to grab it there. They knocked it down to the first deck, and somebody missed it there and went right down into the ice level crowd as you have a look at the Chicago Stadium now what you're seeing at the top of your picture is the lower part of the upper deck here it goes way back up into a dark corner up there where I can't imagine you really even see the game but I'm sure it's quite pleasant <laughs> somebody up there nearly had a souvenir now you don't normally get them up there if you get a souvenir it's usually from the pigeons up there you've got that right <laughs> <laughs> or low flying aircraft 5.31 to go in the third. Hawks three. North Stars one. Face off in the Stars zone. Neil brought for the draw for Minnesota. Picks up the puck. Ahead for Aaron Brock. The Broughton brothers and Barber. Savard turned it back now for Chicago. Here's Michelle Goulet. Two on one with Larmer. Chambers back center. Larmer shoots and a save by Casey. John Casey with another big save. Slamming down a two-on-one break by Chicago. I'll tell you, John Casey has been superb when he's had to be. And once again, Goulet made a great play here. Goulet's been in the doghouse here, but he makes a great play. As Larmer breaks in, he puts it right by the defenseman. You can see Larmer breaking for it. But look at the pads say that Casey's able to make. Sticking that right uh, skate of his out there and able to control that puck. And the Blackhawks trying to put this game away, but John Casey has got other thoughts. With 5.15 to go... And the Blackhawks leading by two. John Casey. The pad was over. The skate was over. The stick was over. Here's a save off the blocker by Casey again. Batted down by Larmer. Loose puck in the North Stars zone. Larmer down and Billy Siren will play it. Here is Neil Wilkinson now for the North Stars. Five minutes to go in the third. Stars trail by two. And it's offside as it bounds around at the Chicago Blue Line with 4.58 to go. In the third period, Minnesota, he skies one deep into the Chicago zone. Millen thought it might have been going out, but it did not. Here's Steve Thomas now for the Hawks. Caroms it ahead. Poked out of the zone by Roenick. Neil Wilkinson now for Minnesota, away from Presley. Over the head of Berezan, hit Gavin. Now Perry Berezan for Minnesota, shoots one right on save. The Cray for the rebound, saved by Millen. Two quick, short-angle shots by the Stars. 
And two quick saves by Miller. Now Steve Thomas cuts right in and shoots. The save by Casey. Knock loose Thomas. A whack at it. Save by John Casey again. And Casey has done a job here in the third period in Chicago. Well, you talk about goaltending and playoffs. You've got to have it. And John Casey has been at his best in the playoffs this season. They, the Blackhawks had three good scoring opportunities in this little flurry right here. There's the first one. Casey makes a save. Watch him get right back up in position once again. As the shot comes again from Thomas, he's able to make the save. And finally, able to hang on to the puck and get the stoppage. And here's the block. North Stars had a chance here. Watch the puck go right through right here as Doug Wilson coming back in there. But Stewart go right underneath his stick between the heel of his stick and his skate. And he couldn't control it. But a wide open net for Minnesota. But no cigar for them either. Both goalies playing great hockey here in the third period. 3-1 to Chicago, 4.21 to go. In the third, from the draw, here is Mark Tenorti for Minnesota. Gilbert picks it off, fires. Murphy blocked it, couldn't find it. Now out to center. Hope clear by Brown. Creighton will fling it in for Chicago. Time running down in the third period. Four minutes left in it. Three to one, Chicago. Hit Creighton is then checked by Murphy. Larry Murphy for Mark Tenorti. A hit now for Dave Gagne. Try to play a rink-wide board pass for Bellows. Madonna behind the net. Gagne there gave it right back, but Madonna had been nailed. Murphy shoots with a chop by Gagne. That didn't work, and Creighton will shovel the puck out to neutral. Larmer springs through the check by Tenorti. Puck loose in the star zone, and Larmer dumps it down deep. Madonna now for Tenorti. Outlet broken up by Savard. Larmer centers. Goulet shoots, and he scores. Four to one, Chicago. Well, Casey had no chance there. Chicago stole the puck back in the Minnesota net, and Goulet acquired from the Quebec Nordic Charlie, able to put it away. Right here is the Aaron pass by Tenorti. He puts it right onto the stick of the Blackhawks, and Goulet is the guy who was able to spring into the clear, taking the pass right there from Larmer. And the North Stars now trail by three with just a little over three minutes to go in the third period. Goulet's 21st goal of the season, and as I mentioned, first point of the playoff. Four to one, now Delian cuts behind the net for Minnesota. Delian along high center, retrieved by Wilkinson. Three minutes to go. Aaron Broughton behind the net. Carried out, Giles one times the blast. It's blocked, played ahead by Goulet. Larmer couldn't go as he was going for a line change. Giles out for Wilkinson, who whistles it around the boards in the Blackhawks zone. And right back out again, but the whistle is blown. And play is stopped with 2.43 to go in the third. It's the Hawks four, the North Stars one. And Savard at 16.37. Savard stole the puck right there. He made the play to Larmer, and Larmer unselfishly put it over to the far side where Goulet was all by himself, and John Casey has had a superb game, unable to stop that shot as the Blackhawks puts it away to give them the three-goal lead. Now 2.39 to go in the third. It's the Hawks four and the North Stars one. Larry Murphy for Minnesota. Ahead for Dave Gagne. Broke a long one. Too far for Bellows. Now they'll go to the corner. Bellows turning. Barber pulls it away right to the side of the net, but no. Lemieux is there working with Bellows. They go to the end boards. Barber and Bellows, Goulet and Brown. Now Bellows and Brown exchange the time of day. And with 2.19 left, it's 4-1 to one Hawks. Well, Saturday night, they go right back to Met Center. Who knows how long this one could go. Game six, Met Center. Tickets on sale tomorrow. Met Center ticket office, all Ticketmaster locations. Or charge by phone, 989-5151. 989-5151. Remember, free parking for the playoffs. Parking lot opens at 5 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. And, oh, boy, here we go right at it again with the North Stars and the Blackhawks. And that look tells you everything tonight. Well, Edmonton and Winnipeg are now tied up at three apiece. That's in the second period. And St. Louis 
Now leading the Toronto Maple Leafs by a score of four to three in the third period, and that is now a final. So the St. Louis Blues advance as the Toronto Maple Leafs have been eliminated from Stanley Cup competition. And so the winner of this series between the Blackhawks and the North Stars will face the Blues. 2.15 to go, Steve Thomas shooting, he scores! Seventeen forty-eight. the time of the goal is Steve Thomas of the Chicago Blackhawks, his second of the playoffs and 40, second of the year. Well, it's important when you win the faceoffs in your own zone, and right here the Blackhawks won it. Just a leading pass as Thomas went in there, and about 35 feet out, he just blew it past John Casey. I think Casey may just let up a little bit on that play, but he's had a strong game. And so the Blackhawks lead by four. The North Stars won by four the other night, and the Blackhawks trying to do the same thing, if not more, here in this game tonight. Here's Chicago's Steve Conroy. Now the puck loose. Thomas pulls it back. So the Stars left with a task now of winning two straight. Certainly has been done many a time, and it will have to start, obviously, at Met Center on Saturday night. So they're hoping for a big crowd to help them out as the series will either go seven if the Stars win or be over if they don't. Here's Wilkinson behind the net. Goulet is on him. Now Wilkinson springs free. Basil McRae is there and out to center. DeLeon reaching in. Savard turns it back. Now Larmer cranks one. Mr. Gerard. Well, he's staring, and that's all the way up, and that hit the press box at the end there. By golly, it did. Well, it's about time those writers had to jump a little bit. That's no writer. Presley and Roenick will pick up the assists on the goal by Steve Thomas. Eight of the third period. 1.19 to go now. 5-1 Chicago. Now the North Stars are chartered right back after this game tonight, getting back in the Twin Cities around the 1 o'clock, 1.30 area. And then, of course, they'll prepare for, for the next game at the Met Center. As Doug told you, get your tickets because you can bet it's going to be a heck of a hockey game. I think you'll see a much different start by the North Stars in that game. Oh, no question about here. it. Well, you get a must-win game at home for a team that won 27 out of 42 home games. And you can bet they're going to come out flying. 49 seconds to go. The pass picked off, but the Stars come out. Mike Madonna slides it off the skate of Presley. The remaining fans, and a goodly number of them are still here, are standing up now at half a minute to go. Dennis Savard looked at the fans, looked at the clock. Fired it back down. Stars will just keep it alive here to avoid the icing. Barazan may as well end it. Ten seconds left. Barazan in the corner for the Stars. Basil McRae hustling after the loose puck. Three seconds left. McRae, Siren pokes it in, but that's it. It is over in Chicago. And the Chicago Blackhawks have taken a three games to two lead in the best of seven Norris Division semifinal series with the North Stars. The final score tonight, Chicago five and the North Stars one. We'll be right back at Chicago Stadium.